You can buy one sneaker this year. Ooh. Which oh, one man. do you pulled out After the for? whole year? The whole year. I would definitely do the CME 3s. I'm going to stick with the reimagines too, That's just like sure. The Air Jordan 1, Lucky Green. That's nice. Y'all will see it. We'll, we'll be talking about it on the show pretty yeah. soon. It's the show that brings you drip from around the NBA. Tune into the Sneak Fest show presented by Ten Toes Memphis, where we talk sneaker culture, fashion, shoe trends, and lots more. Join me, Kelsey Wright Johnson, Sherman, Jerry, and Adam every Tuesday live at 10 a.m. on Grind City Media. In the last two years, Georgia has faced six top 15 teams not named Alabama. The Bulldogs have allowed 13, 3, 11, 13, 0, and 3 points in those games. Who wrote that? Let's this, give this credit. Is from the Bear, Chris okay. Felica. I love the Bear. He always puts out great college football notes. Bear poops. What do we call this? <laughs> Get your sports betting picks and trends with Rob Fisher, Lang Whitaker, CJ Hurt, and John Roser. The Odds Couple. Now live every Thursday at 10 a.m. on Grind City Media and YouTube. My favorite moment of all happened after the game against the Kings. Jaw took his jaw ones off and gave them to this young fan, signed them. This fan was in tears, and Jaw Morant made that boy's night. And it's such a reminder for, for all of us. Like, if you can do something to better someone's life every single day, why would you not do it? It doesn't take that much time. Tune in to Rise and Grind with Jessica Benson, live daily at 8 a.m. on GrindCityMedia.com. I got top three of yeah. my favorite craziest single, single game single performances. You want to start? Shaq was in his, uh, I think, second year. He was on the Magic, mm -hmm. and he was about to win the scoring title. And David Robinson decided, I want to win that scoring title. David Robinson scored 71 points and won the scoring title. <laughs> Join Lang Whitaker and me, Kelsey Ray Johnson, every Thursday as we debate the hottest topics in the NBA. I am HO on GrindCityMedia.com, YouTube, and our social channels. HBCU Huddle with me, CJ Hurt, and Mike Wallace has all of your HBCU football, sports, and culture needs covered. We discuss the hottest stories weekly across the black college sports landscape, including the SWAC, MEAC, Tennessee State, Lane, Lamorne Owen, and all the black colleges in between. New episodes drop every Thursday, and you can stay connected with the latest stories and discussions about your favorite HBCU by going to GrindCityMedia.com, selecting the podcast folder, and clicking on the HBCU Huddle tab. HBCU Huddle is a spot for all your black college sports and culture needs. Grizzlies fans know it's the team that gives you the edge. Big River Steel does too. That's why we're looking for team members to reinvent the steel industry, much like the Grizzlies are reinventing basketball. Our edge starts with you at www.bigriversteel.com. That's www.bigriversteel.com. Hungry as a bear? Grizzlies fans can score big by ordering their favorite combos. If you pick up the Burrito Supreme combo from your local Taco Bell through February 21st, you'll score a key tag good for a free Nacho Cheese Doritos Locos Taco on future visits. What's better than a Grizzlies win? Free tacos at Taco Bell. Stop by today to get yours. Available at participating Memphis area Taco Bell locations while supplies last. Free item valid per disclaimer on back of key tag. Nacho fries are back at Taco Bell. You know, the fries covered in bold Mexican spices you dip in a warm nacho cheese sauce. You could also dunk them in a nacho cheese sauce or pour the sauce onto a pile of them and create like a nacho fries nachos. The thing is that you eat them with nacho cheese sauce. That's what makes them nacho fries. Otherwise, you're just eating fries and sipping on nacho cheese sauce, and that's the wrong way. Sorry, just really passionate about nacho fries. Nacho fries are back, only at Taco Bell. At participating U.S. Taco Bell locations for a limited time only while supplies last. Contact local store for hours and participation, which vary. Represent Every Day, presented by Delta Dental of Tennessee, is an incentive-based program focused on keeping youth K-6 through sixth grade engaged in school in order to combat truancy. In partnership with Shelby County Schools and with the help of Delta Dental of Tennessee, the Grizzlies are focused on reducing chronic absenteeism among the most impacted schools in the Mid-South. Students in the program have the opportunity to win fun and unique prizes by going to school every day and being engaged in the classroom. For more information on the program, visit Grizzly grizzlies.com slash community slash education today. At Mountain Dew, we'd like to remind you that the world as we know it would not exist without the number zero, which is why at Mountain Dew, we'd like to recognize the number zero for making Mountain Dew Zero Sugar possible. Even with no sugar, it packs all of the bold citrus kick Dew Nation knows and loves. It's so good, you have no reason not to try it, as in zero. Get it? Get it. 
crack open an ice cold Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. It's Zero Sugar, all Dew. Live from FedEx Forum, this is the Chris Vernon Show on GrindCityMedia.com and the Grind City Media YouTube page, presented by Caesar Sportsbook. Now, here's your host. on GrindCityMedia.com. It's Chris Vernon. Show. Welcome, 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 welcome. It's the Monday, January 30th, 2023 edition of the show. Today on the show, we got 10 things from the weekend. Busy weekend. Grizzlies finally won a game yesterday at FedEx Forum. We'll talk about that. They were doing that while the AFC and NFC championships were going on. Roser joined me and Devin in the den of losers. We'll get to the games that took place yesterday. The Tigers got another win over the weekend. We'll talk about what we watched. LeBron freaked out. The Royal Rumble was over the weekend. We all watched that. Got some other news and notes we're going to get to. It is a Monday. It is ridiculously terrible outside but smile let's do it turn it up Everybody's having a good day. All right, we got a ton of stuff to get to. It was a super busy weekend. Uh, Grizzlies are going to be off until Wednesday when they are playing an early game against the Portland Trailblazers at FedEx Forum. But they're finally able to get a win yesterday. We have a Super Bowl that is now set. We will get to that. Um, tons of stuff. Before I get to anything, I welcome John Roser to the show. John Roser, a.k.a. the Cologne Ranger. The Body Spray Bandit, Senor Sack, a.k.a. John the Backbow, John the Bearcat, a.k.a. the Grim Roser, John Asparagus, Johnny Net Carb, John Johnson? <laughs> no. <laughs> what up? Oh, no. No, please, no. <laughs> but I, I have called you John Garoppolo, John Lance, John Purdy, and now John, John Johnson. Johnson. And you've said John McCaffrey. Oh, yeah. John McCaffrey. Which probably would have been the better way to go yesterday. Or John Juice Deck. Yeah, Juice Check. Did you, juice, you just call him Juice. Juice Check. John Juice. Yeah. Call him Juice, yeah. yeah. I saw him looking at the playbook on the sideline. Yeah, line. he was. And I was like, oh boy, yeah. this is about to get good. <laughs> <laughs> it would, it w- actually, it would have been more entertaining than watching Josh Johnson. Well, I was watching the portion of the game with you yesterday when that was taking place, and I said, please, God, if you're Kyle Shanahan, you will be forever the GOAT if you put Ky- Christian McCaffrey in there and on the first play let him throw a bomb to, like, Brandon Ayuk or something <laughs> and just stretch the field. That would have been the absolute greatest, yeah. but all for naught. Um We'll get to that game and everything else. Look who it is! Diamond. Devin Walker's Diamond. here. My wrist and ears. The microphone mangler. Senor Quasadilla. Mr. Math. Navajo Joe. The do, photographer. Do, 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 do. The man whose ass was saved yesterday at FedEx Forum so he didn't have to come in here a loser. I know, right? I, I look, bro, we came back and we got a dub because I was, man, that was, road trip was tough. I was telling y'all, like, it's the energy, like, when you're losing every game and then, like, the city's kind of, like, on edge to a little bit. It's like a recipe for like not fun. <laughs> you 
I mean, look, you're very, very close to adopting a new nickname, Roid po- Road Poison. Road yeah. Poison? <laughs> Road Poison. Why would be Road Poison? Yeah. yeah. Senior 0 and 5. <laughs> My look, word. Bro. Look, look, bro. Winless. Winless? Yeah. <laughs> look, we got it. I was in the building yesterday when we won, so I think, I think we're good on that. I think people forget, bro, I was there when we won a playoff series. I was there. Is that right? I was there. Yeah. I was present. You were there. Nobody exactly. cares about the that. past. Yeah, nobody cares. Like Rafael Palmero yeah. said, I'm not here to talk about the Come past. On. Come on. <laughs> Whatever. Stop bringing up old stuff. Hey, but yeah, shout out Memphis, though, bro. Like, y'all showed out this weekend, for real. Yeah. Shout out Memphis, dog. Great. Uh, great weekend, um, to say the least, uh, for the sports teams and for the community. Before I get... Uh, to that and everything else, let's start with 10 things. 10 things, 10 things, 10 things, 10 things, 10 things, 10 things. Number one, Grizzlies weekend and Jaron Jackson. All right, so let's start with uh, they were coming in hobbling after taking their lumps on the road. Lost five straight. The last one, Minnesota, was an absolute dud. And, though, you know, there is that day off and that time for reflection. And upon time for reflection, one of the things that I said when we started off our pregame show yesterday was, you know, when you think back to the road trip, you had two real duds. Sacramento was a dud, and Minnesota was a dud. The other three went down to the last play of the game. Literally the last play of the game. The Lakers game did, the Phoenix game did, and the Golden State game did. And you fell short in every one of those games. Now, then you were, you know, you lost you lost Bain for a couple of them. You lost Stevo in the middle of it. And so it's the ebbs and flows of the season sometimes. And they needed to get back home and they needed to get a win and that did not look like it might be in the cards in the first quarter yesterday and then it kind of extended into the second quarter and I got a little dismayed and Rose was sitting next to me during the game and I told him at the end of the half I said 12's not bad and then if you remember because they got a little they got a little swag going yeah. there about halfway yeah. through the second quarter. And I was like, all right, they're getting some stops. They're getting out on the break. And then they got to the second half. And if you remember, halftime ended. The third quarter begins. They, they're they flying around everywhere for 20 seconds on defense. And then it gets thrown to Miles Turner at the top of the key. And he hits a three in Jaron's face. And I'm like, oh, come on. Like, <laughs> all right, maybe this is just not. Yeah. Maybe yeah. this is just not good. Right? And By the way, I told you this too. He is huge, Monster enormous, is a big, is a big dude, dude. enormous. <laughs> That's a big, big guy, enormous. They were look. That was that was a game team for sure. And then in the third quarter, Grizzlies really turned up, and certainly were able to extend that into the fourth quarter against the Pacers. But. The turning point was our boy Detev getting thrown out. I feel like yeah. So the reversal of the Shannon curse. I'm going to suppose that you know something about this like what was going on i because i heard ja reference after the game that nemhard was at one point yelling back at t told t to shut up and then ja said i went to go check his temperature and he didn't have a fever (laughs) yeah (laughs) that's a good line it is a good it is a good line (laughs) but what was going on with d tap and why was he so Aggressively angry. Yeah, it's bizarre. I, yeah, he was mad because he told T to shut up, and then because he does what he always does, he's talking trash to players on the opposing team, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess Nimhar kind of took it like personal, and like told him to shut up, and then like he got into it, and Dioti got into it, then James Johnson from all the way on the bench started like defending, I guess, the young guys, and then D Tap guess like saw that, and like he. Yeah, I, I mean, look, yeah, the wrong guy. We, we like D Tap. Yeah, wrong but James guy. Johnson got neck wrong. tattoos, and he got a black belt. Yeah, the dude, he's like a Wrong real guy. He's like a real fighter. Like, he really can fight. Like, MMA stuff. Yeah, like, black he, belt. Yeah, yeah that's, sure. that's wrong. When dude. you're a black belt, it's the wrong guy. But it's yeah. still like, that. that's the kind of what triggered it. And I, like, after that, I think there you, 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 you got, just escort him out, then the switch flip. It was really strange. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what is going on? I didn't even see what had happened. Yeah, it was a weird situation. Because I thought it was something on the court. 
It was a mixture of both. Because then Duarte. But nothing really happened on the court. Like, like, Duarte there wasn't started any. pushing, like, started, like, not pushing, but kind of getting in the mix. And then Ja was, like, backing up, like, bro, he was like, you ain't like that to Duarte. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, you ain't like that. And then, of course, our guy, Steve O. Oh, yeah. Who then has he not moved up. the entire game. You're right. Stands up and just stands in the Walks middle. Walks calmly over Walks, to the middle. Yeah. Walk to, and just stands there. All right, Mike. The peacemaker. The peace, the, the bodyguard. The yes. So, Mike. Yeah. After um, that. Look, yeah. you know how much they wanted to end that losing streak? Oh, man. You never, non-playoffs, ever see the kind of minutes that Ja and Jaren yeah. played. 41 and a half. Yeah. 38. So Taylor <laughs> yeah, So kidding. Taylor yes. was asked about this Four after the half. game about did you feel like this is one like you had like you really needed this win? And he said, "No, you know that wasn't the talk at halftime. It was it was about, you know, we started to show some good things at the end of the second quarter. We started switching a little bit more in the second half, but it, it wasn't about oh, we have to absolutely have this one or it's doom and gloom." And I'm sitting here like Bro, John played the entire second half, and Jared played 38 minutes. That is absolutely. Hold on, we me, needed that. The, I want to see the last time. Let you, me check. We in. had you to got, have you that. Got the game log for John last time he played 42, 40 minutes. I don't, but I do have uh, third quarter. Jared sat for two minutes. Ja sat for zero. Uh, fourth quarter. Jaren set for zero. <laughs> ja set for zero. Yeah, Ja played the whole second half. So did Jaren. Yeah. Jaren played all, all but two, two minutes. Yeah. Ja has not played 42 minutes in, at all this season. The closest he's gotten, he played 41 minutes on Christmas against Golden State. Which was a game we that need, mattered. That we needed, yes. We Enormously. Yep. Even in wow. the playoffs last year, he played 36, 41, I mean, 38. Look, yeah. There, there's the good and bad of this. Both of those guys. In tandem, when you see them and you see them in tandem playing big minutes, your team can be absolutely awesome if it's flanked by, I mean, honestly, you didn't even have your guys no. yesterday. You had it flanked by whoever um, was available BC played for well, yesterday. Played decent yeah, but Rocky. BC got in foul trouble, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. You know, came back in and in the fourth quarter was able to play. Um, he played eight minutes of the fourth quarter. Brandon did. In the first through the third quarters, Brandon played nine minutes and a, nine and a half minutes, Jeez. and he played eight minutes in the fourth quarter. So I mean, you just did not have guys that you know to to get you this win, um, and that was against a team that's lost nine of ten. That's against a team that has really struggled since losing Tyrese Halliburton, and so that's the good and the bad, right? Of this, the good is clearly. That you have these guys that when they are able to stay on the court and play in tandem, make you extremely formidable, right? Yeah. The bad is you had to play those guys the playoff minutes in order to get a regular season win against a team that's lost 9 of 10, right? That is... Yeah. A bit troubling, right? Mm -hmm. You would like to be able to get contributions from the others, but it was this feeling as if if you're not playing them, you're going to lose this game. And so those guys, uh, the other thing was you saw them in tandem both be simultaneously absolutely incredible. And it felt like, you know, another step towards pecking order Mm -hmm. within this team because – you want it to be Ja, Jaron, and Bain when he is available. I asked around last night, and everybody that I talked to seemed completely unconcerned with the Bain knee thing that yeah. has kept him out the last yeah. couple of games. That was of – like, that's not – we're not going to look up and it's worse than what we it's thought. desire that, tendonitis. No, thing, no, yeah. no, 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 no. That he's, that he's okay. Yeah. Um, obviously going to get Danny Green in the fold, and – you just now, what, one of the things that yesterday you had to have this brilliance out of John Jaron because one of the things that has been exposed, and now when we're a week and some odd days away from the trade deadline, this team has to get shooting. Yeah. They just do. So NBA University have, put out a tweet about teams that missed the most wide open trays in the NBA. Yeah. Third. I mean, we have one guy that can shoot. Yeah. I'm not kidding. No. It's we, we do not. And, and then, and then you look, part of the problem is I'm not trying to kill him. 
But Grizzly fans have been, I mean, you know, when, when somebody's here for a long time, everybody's going to, you know, we, yeah. we've all got a certain bit of affection and pride for our players. But the truth is the truth, and the facts are the facts. And there is not one player in the entire NBA that has taken more shots than Dylan Brooks and hit less. Not one. There's 400 and something players in the league. Yeah. Not one. There is not, there is one player that has taken more threes and hit less. It's Trey Young. His number is 31.6. Ice trade a gang. Shut up, Ice trade a gang. 31.6. My guy. <laughs> Dylan's is 31.8. Woof. Woof. And, it, and it's not like. And one for seven yesterday. It's not low volume. Two for 11 from the season. He only, shot, I mean? he only shot nine times last night? He's two for 11. Two for 11. Oh, I can't remember. One for seven. I from stopped three. looking. But I mean, like. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you take. Stop you I'm not kidding. Like, it, like, it actively hurts you. Yeah, it does. When you have a guy that is playing massive minutes for you, that is the least efficient. Yeah, literally the least efficient player in the whole league. That's insane. Well, you know, and I, you know, you joked about it last night with me. You said when he came back in the game in the fourth quarter, you jokingly said, "Oh, here comes a little bit of a, here comes the run stopper," and you didn't mean it in a good way. Because John Jarrett, like you said, dude, they were, I mean, they were dominating. Cooking. They were cooking, cooking bro. Dominating. And he comes in and immediately takes like a right wing three that bricks. And he drove to the lane and like threw up. Slammed it off the board. And yeah. And it's like, come on, man. Like. And there's no accountability, honestly. No. Now, they have obviously gotten to him and said, like, hey, when John Brain are out, you can't be taking 20, 30 shots just because somebody's out. That's not the role here. Like, they've obviously got him to take a back seat to Jaron. Jaron is – Jaron's field goal attempts are going up. His are going down. But it has not gone well regarding – like, I mean, it, it hasn't been more efficient with doing less. And so, they That's just – look, they have got to find you, – you're building your entire team out with John Morant in mind. End of story. And you've got a lot of good fits. But you've got to find somebody else on the wing. I feel like he's good for that like can he, knock down he, shots for what he is. Like I feel like like when you think of like Jaws superstar, right? Jaren's your defensive player on the, on the backside. Steve O is a big that sets screens and rolls. You got Dez the shooter. I feel like DB like that spot is a three and D wing, and like he is when he is that like the Cleveland game, he showed he can be like clamp up. Yep. We and, need you to clamp up. You yeah. clamp up. And I was hopeful that Zaire could be ready for that this you know year. That three and D spot, and Zaire's not so ready like, for it. So like that spot is like there. Like there's like there's like a the soak the spots there. Yeah. Like, feel that spot, bro. So clamp I, up when I, you yeah, need so to. So I was you hopeful. showed it. You can clamp I, up. I was hopeful. My thought going into this season was it's before I knew Zaire had that injury. It was going to last that long. I thought with what we saw from him last year, he would take a leap. Dylan on the last year of his contract probably moved at the deadline, and Zaire easily slides into that three and D spot right there. And but I just, he, he's I, not ready. For, he has I, not been ready. For and it I, feel, I feel I feel like I don't know. I feel like Dylan like probably is a little tense or knows that you know. Things could change around here. It's contract year, yeah. It's contract yeah. year. It's all stressful, whatever. But, I mean, like, he's just not – it's not the same anyway. First play of the game last night, his guy got the offensive rebound. Yeah. It's like, that's not you. No. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, affected everything. Yeah. Right? All the way yeah, around. Jaws John, like, our second-best rebounder now, I feel like, right? I will, I, I will say, positive note, some guy we haven't talked about, man, and we love him. D-Rod. Tillman. Oh, X. man. Oh, yeah. Man, like, he is, he has come in here. This dude has gone down to the – he has gone from not playing. He's gone down to the hustle and played. He's come back up and played just in blowouts. But he's gotten some real minutes lately. And in some of these games that he's played, the Utah win, he's got nine points and nine rebounds. The Orlando win uh, on the road, it's eight rebounds. Last night, it's nine points, 11 rebounds. Um Look, man, like hundred percent role player he knows, that knows he his role. Understands he knows his exactly role. what he's, he's, he's like. Do. I ain't trying to be shooting step back trays. I ain't you know, the first San, the, the first of the back to back San Antonio wins we had nine point seven rebounds. Like he had eight offensive rebounds you know who last night. Eight. Roddy does exactly. Yeah. Roddy. Ro when does Roddy take a crap shot? Yeah. 
He'll turn it over a little bit, but he'll, he'll take turn it over a little bit. Every he's now and then, used yeah. to it. Yeah, he's a rookie. Yeah, yeah. But he's going to be able to. He's going to be a player. Yeah, Roddy. He's going to be a he's, solid NBA role yes. player for a lot of years. He's yes. that three. I D, that that three that you can feel that spot. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying yes. like big body wing because you see they do the Dylan Roddy when we play against big wings. No, Roddy just had to go in this summer and shoot seven hundred thousand corner threes. Yes, that's the deal. Roddy, Zaire, Loravia. Those just big wings. shoot a million threes a day. That's right. Like, just wide open, shoot them. That's right. Like, you, if you're third in the NBA and miss wide open threes, just imagine that, if you start making some. The shots are there. That, Josh, that tells you the shot shots gets are you every there. shot. Gets you every shot. Yes, it gets you. His shot. assists I mean, last night were ridiculous. I mean, there's one. There's one of those that he when he got to. Uh, it was Tyus didn't have a great game shooting, but the one that Tyus made late that was big. Like he's just in the corner. Like dude, the like, jaw just drives up and then he just. Boom! Flings it to the other side of the court and ties his wide. I mean, you're just wide open. He calls, He needs so much attention on him. The Jaron Jackson controversy over the weekend was absolutely unbelievable. Um, a Reddit post that charged the Grizzlies scorekeeper from infl- for inflating Jaron's stats. And what it went to show me was people will believe... I mean, if you can present... We live in a world now where people are apt to believe in conspiracy theories anyway. Yeah. And if you give people a very paltry amount of evidence and then some statistics that sound rather persuasive alongside it, they want to believe that this is so. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm reading through it. And, of course, like from... I, guess, I woke up Saturday morning. And, of course, it was all over my Twitter feed. I got tagged on that particular Reddit post 100,000 times. And I went through and I read it, and I'm like, you know, I shouldn't have to explain this to people. But the first things that ran through mine are, A, this isn't happening in a gym without video cameras (laughs) in some remote location. This is not hearsay. <laughs> These things are literally all on tape. All of them. Yes. We have optic tracking now. Mm-hmm. We have on-off data that will show exactly what his impact is defensively. Even if you do want to argue about a few counting numbers here and there. Uh, you know, I went through and I was like, as I'm scrolling through the Reddit post, one of the comments, I was, it was hilarious, was... Steals at home versus steals on the road. And that's why I put on Kevin Durant averages three times as many steals in Brooklyn. Nikola Jokic averages 2.5 more assists and 2.5 more rebounds at home. Yeah. And it's like anybody that wanted to go through every single play could create some kind of phony scandal regarding this stuff. A, it shows like somebody has some ulterior motive, right? Yeah, I, I think in that people actually like hate us at this point. Well, somebody has an ulterior motive in posting it, right? Yeah. Uh, I almost claimed to be the Reddit poster and said <laughs> I did this so that all of you bozos would have to watch every single block he's made, and then you would then be privy to his absolute brilliance because you don't watch the games anyway. Yeah. And so now you're because you're trying to prove that this is a sham and that his defensive player of the year status is bogus. Now you have to watch all 66 home blocks and then you're going to walk away from said video going, "Oh my oh, god. Wow. This guy is unbelievable. <laughs> He's a monster." <laughs> it's like his numbers are so damn and good it, like there's no way they're right. It's exactly <laughs> what happened. Kevin and O'Connor, Kurt Goldsberry. They all went and watched him <laughs> and they're like, "Yeah, he's even better than we're giving than we were yeah. even saying. Like well, he's even better." Monster, and I, I will say this. Very 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 proud of my basketball-loving brethren regarding how the way it was all handled, right? Yeah. There were a few absolute NBA follows nincompoops that were promoting this. Yeah. And were like, you know, but I even saw a guy from, like, the Celtics, the guy that runs Celtics blogs. I saw the guy that runs all, all these people. They were like, what the hell? Like, what is wrong with you? 
But it was all of these. It was either like guys that wanted to do the fantasy angle or the gambling angle, or they just wanted to, like, they really believed it, I suppose. Yeah. And so they were really promoting it, promoting it, promoting it. And they're like NBA Twitter follows. And it's like, like the fact that anybody with even the slightest shred of credibility mm-hmm. couldn't see through this in one second is appalling. <laughs> like, what are we doing here? Bro, like, people- it would take you two seconds to... So go watch it yourself. That's that's the thing. Like we live in a world. Like people thought Demar Demar Hamlin wasn't actually no. Alive. That he was dead. Yeah, he was. He was dead. Oh no! And there and still, people, and people believed it. No. There, no. There are still people that do. There's people that believe that video is like AI and <laughs> clipped. Yes. Of him on video talking, explaining <laughs> in, why he has spoken. Including apparently a two-time World Series champion. Who? Her uh, You don't know this? No. Aubrey Huff. He believes it's fake? Dude, he is like a huge conspiracy oh, theorist. Oh, my God. Yes, about everything. Yeah. No, That's the thing. Like, people, wild. like, so, I, like, internet is a wild place, bro. You, if you can say, if you put a little shred of information with something wild, people are like, you know what? That may be right. Instead of going back and doing their own research to find out it's not right. But shout out to you, though, but, bro. But, no, like, all the, all, I will tell you. And I had guys DMing me, you know what I mean, or, or, or reaching out to me. Um, like the Tom Haverstroh's yeah. and I saw Amin El Hassan, you know, they did an emergency pod audit, uh, you know, on, on Twitter spaces. I mean, they were like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on yeah, here? The NBA. But the we in- should thank them, though, for letting also, everybody know that Jaren's a monster. Also, every, people didn't realize it. every set, this happens in the G League, too. It happens in the WNBA. Every single stat after the game on that final box score is then independently checked and reviewed by the NBA. In Secaucus. Secaucus. And they make, yeah, by Secaucus. And they make corrections if they need to. So they're in on it. So, exactly. Like, like, everybody's in on this conspiracy. <laughs> Everybody wants Jaron to be the defensive player of the year. Well, and the crazy thing, yeah, but a little, <laughs> uh, they, they feel like Memphis doesn't get enough shine. Exactly. So they need to promote him. Uh, it, it, well, and the crazy thing is, like, I will give Kevin a lot of credit, too. Because Kevin even texted me. He was like, I'm going to go back and watch all of them. Yeah. And you can get the alternate video angles of oh, really? which he posted. Okay. Because on some of the video angles, yeah. like, you know, there's the Zion one. And he's that like, looks... but if you see it from the other angle, he clearly gets a hand on the ball. Yeah. It's down mm-hmm. by his And it's, yeah, you know what I mean? So what do you want to call it? A steal or a block? Like, what do you want? <laughs> like, he clearly pokes it away. Yeah. And it's like, but in the absence of. You know, and, but again, these things, not only are they on video, they're on video from 50 angles. Yeah. If this is happening, I mean, it's just, it's, wild, it's crazy man. to think that somebody could believe that, though. Like, really? Yeah. They want to believe it. Yeah. And it's like, do you just not have a remedial understanding of the way this stuff works? No, they don't. That's the answer is no. That's why I tweeted. <laughs> when I tweeted, I said, go back to the DeMar thread. <laughs> These are the same people. But yeah. there were people that have, like, quote, you know, a modicum of uh, credibility yeah, that, that were, like, putting it out there. And it's like, what is wrong with you? Yeah. yeah the person has since deleted his his, uh, his Reddit post because everybody's debunked it. And they said he's a, Red, a Warriors fan. Yeah. That's why he wanted to put it out there. No, he is. the like, guy Because the guy on Twitter, the guy on Twitter who was putting all the stuff out, who never, by the way, like... Anytime anybody like actually sent him like really factual stuff, like yeah. actual factual stuff about how the NBA does this, never would comment, never would retweet it. But yeah, you took he's a Warriors fan. The Warriors fan. So it's Warriors, Warriors fans fan. trying to like downplay everything that we're doing here. Mm. So it's like Jaren's a monster on the board on the a blocking machine. Let me find some weird ass stat that I can put out there for all the Warriors fans to jump on top of and push the narrative. Yeah, when you what, have it, smart people like O'Connor, yeah, like, yo, what the what and I and, and I and this is I don't know if this person has ever watched sports like ever, like any sport, but like, like <laughs> it's not just role players, but like guys tend to play better on their home yeah. floors, home ice, home field. <laughs> like, I, I they all it, tend to, especially young ones. I think yes. it's Stan Vernon. I think it's officially Stan. We might the Grizzlies. These new Grizzlies might be like the most like hated team. <laughs> like yeah. it, it's like people find stuff. They like want to find stuff to like to prove that they're not what they are. First you know they love saying? you, then they hate you. Yeah. They loved they them. Like everybody loved them last year. They love you when you're like you're crawling up, but when you get there, it's like, yo, 
Yeah. That ain't right. Let's try to find something. It's true of everybody. Though. Every, everybody. It's, it's everybody. It's true. True of every 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 band or every yeah. rapper or any anybody that comes out at first, right? It's like oh, and everybody's in on it, it and it's a cool so thing. Out. Exactly. And yeah. then and then they find a way to poke a hole in you. Yeah. You, you, you know make mean? it to that point. But that's yeah. when you've made it. Unless you know you made it. Yes. Yeah. People are poking hole everything you do. Well, it was going, uh, it was Steph Curry even last year. Like, he was the darling of the league, everything like that, when the Warriors first start making their runs. And then the narrative became. Um, he's a showboat. Uh, yeah. He's, well, well the I showboat, and then he's, can he be the bus driver? You, there's always yeah. little <laughs> things you got to poke into it. And I even questioned that, but it ain't that way anymore, you yeah, know? Bro. All you these know? haters, we love it. That's yeah. all I got to say. Shout out to y'all. Number two, AFC title game. So. Ooh. I was thrilled to be able to get done with the post game in time. It's thirteen to thirteen uh, during the, our post game show, and of course I've got it in uh, in the little cubby that's next to us. And so at the breaks, I'm pulling it up and uh, talking to Brevin and Fish about it. And so it's thirteen thirteen, and then thank God for the advent of Bluetooth, and I have like. It, it really is, I will say this, for as much as we can sometimes lament what the world has become um, technology-wise, some of the things technology-wise are just... Yes. I mean, it's unfathomable. Uh, to think... AirPods. To think that my, my son doesn't know a world where a huge game is going on and I cannot pull it up and listen to the... Audio in my car while he watches it on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just crazy to think about. And so I, I pulled it up on my phone and I'm listening to it uh, as I'm driving home and keeping an eye on it when I can. And then I got home with, I, when I pulled into my driveway, they had just gotten to the two minute warning. Mm-hmm. And Cincinnati's got the ball back. They've got the ball back at the two-minute warning. And I walked in, and I'll be honest with you, I told uh, William, I said, I said, you got this thing on? And he's like, yes. So he's watching it. I said, he's going to do it again, isn't he? He's going to do it again. I was like, who's it going to be? Like Chase, Higgins? Like what is it? He's going to do this thing again. I can't believe we're at this moment. But – that's the greatest compliment I can give Burrow. Is when they got the ball back with two minutes left to go, I thought he was winning that game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And the Chiefs defense, and most importantly, Chris Jones. Yeah. You know, I saw earlier where it's like, I saw Nick Wright, who's a huge Kansas City homer, but he posted, and I thought this is reasonable to say. He's like, they had four all-pro players that were considered the best at their position on the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes. Travis Kelsey, who caught the first touchdown. Chris Jones, who got the monstrous sack. Yeah. And the last one was uh, the the punter, actually, who had the coffin corner kick when yeah. it mattered most. Yeah. And it's like they all made Townsend. They made massive plays when it mattered most. Yeah. And then I really thought uh, Chris Jones makes that huge sack. And then Mahomes gets that ball back. And... Look, I know that the refs were awful all night long. You know what I mean? Like awful. And there were there were plays that the the Kansas City got taken away too. Yeah. All right. They got that one taunting penalty. They got the Pacheco touchdown that was called back, which was an amazing run. God, yeah. I love him. He's awesome. Pacheco. Man, he's good. Oh. Yeah. But man, when they got the ball back, and the third and nine thing is obviously a catastrophe, and then the penalty afterwards. I mean, look, I'm not going to defend it. The officials were terrible. Mm. But, bro, one thing we talked about was I'm like, man, I don't know about no, I would love the Chiefs in this game, especially at home, but we have no idea what this dude's going to be like on a high ankle sprain. And he has been a rushing problem when it comes playoff time. He gets third and eight, gets third and nine, and he goes and he moves the sticks for you. He is brilliant at that. He's brilliant at moving around in the pocket, and he can get off any pass with a quickness accurately, and he throws at 150 miles an hour, right? The guy's awesome. But what happens when you, like, 
when you're going to have to complete it every time you get like a third and seven or a third and eight. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what they dealt with the whole night. And he didn't have anybody that could get any separation by the end. He had nobody left. Yeah. He had no receivers left. The one guy that caught that uh, first down, I swear to God, I've never heard of him in my life. Um, Kemp. Kemp Mark, last night. Marcus Kemp. So I had never heard of the guy in my life. He's played five seasons in the NFL. No, listen to this. <laughs> I saw this this morning. <laughs> During the fourth quarter, he was the number two receiver. He caught a key first down, came into the game with four career catches and 24 career tackles. What? He had eight career targets, zero this season. Wow. Zero targets. Wow. I was like, well, you know what? I don't feel bad for not knowing this individual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he went to 24 a, tackles. He went to the University of Hawaii, bro. You don't know anybody else except Tommy Chang that went there. Timmy. Timmy Chang. My bad, Timmy. How dare you? Cole yeah. Brennan. I know Cole all of them. Okay, I know all the Hawaiians. Uh, uh, all the Hawaiians. <laughs> Look, here's what I'll say. You always have to, you know, he gets these third downs where he can convert them. Bro. Him running for the first down. Yeah. Yeah. That's, Forget you, the push out of bounds, which is so clearly a penalty. Anybody that's arguing this is crazy. Yeah. He, he obviously hit the guy. Yeah. A, anybody that's watching that game went, oh, my God, <laughs> what a mistake. Yes. Anybody. Yes. Nobody was like, oh, I don't know. I hope they don't give it to him. That's yeah. a little close. Like, what, no, no, that's what, what obvious the, push. Yeah, and you what, know how bad this is. This is just the heart of a champion, bro, running for that. I, yeah. I, I, lo- I loved that play so much. And then Osai, I felt terrible for him. Yeah, man. It, Except in one way. Uh-oh. Yeah. One way. He did the move. And you guys you guys have seen this 100 times in sports. I see it all the time in kids' sports. All the time. Oh, does it the fake injury? Yes. <laughs> I, I effed up so badly. I fake an injury. Yes. He run that back. He did, hurt. He's, he's hurt. hurt. He did, he's hurt, right? And it makes you then, hopefully, like, it's like maybe they will forget <laughs> This horrible play that I've made oh, because man. I'm faking this injury. Yes, I see. It's so, like the missing of jumps. Oh, it was so obvious. It was like, look at oh, look, no, I no, my no, leg. Ow, ow, ow. No, I did see. No, he said he's having an MRI today. Oh, he come did. on. He for real got what, it. What, but on watch his, his, his knee. On his pride, Roser? Watch his knee. Is MRI on his pride? No, I would hey, say he, he did he, his knee he buckle there. To, he has to have an MRI to justify this. No, his knee buckles. Right there. No, it doesn't. It, it, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> his, his leg sticks Ain't nothing wrong with this dude. <laughs> well, his leg com- no. <laughs> his leg completely Which sticks. one? Which one? Which, which, which leg? Which leg? Which leg? Which leg? Isn't it the left one? Is no, the one? that's <laughs> not the leg he holds. <laughs> It's it's extended. Then it's that one. It's that right one right oh, there. It's extended. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude oh, I think he did. I think he did a, get hurt. Yeah. I think he did. Yeah, he cost him the Super Bowl. And his teammates got on his ass. With the I don't care what anybody think, says. It. I know the coach is going to say it's not about one play, bro. It kind of was. Well, I think what what Bengals fans are also mad about is the the it is like what the series before that or two series before that. I, I don't. Know, I was at the game, so I didn't get to see everything. But the uh, Frank Clark, was it Frank Clark, the roughing the passer. On Burrow. Like, bro, Burrow releases the ball and Frank Clark goes at him three steps, three steps after he releases the ball and pushes Burrow down, and there's nothing. Yeah. And I think that's. Look, yeah, that's fair. That, oh, that's uh, kind of weak. But that's a penalty. That's, that's, a, that's a, penalty a penalty by the letter of the but Tom Brady, law. It is. If Tom Brady's a quarterback, they're throwing that flag. Yes. I agree. I agree. If that happened, I agree. And if that exact thing happened to no, Mahomes in that, that game, it's, it's a foul. Mahomes I agree that the officials were. Yeah, abhorrent. I think everybody that, that's, does. That's what I've seen the Bengals fans complain Here's about. Is they're like, it, then you have bro, to. Bro, you got the ball plays. with two minutes left to go. You yeah. got a chance to go win. You the got game. a chance to win like, the game. I view that like I did all those Grizzlies losses. I, I didn't. You didn't even see me bitching about the end of the Laker game and lane violations and Bane getting smacked by Schroeder, even though they didn't call it that in the two minute. I, I didn't bitch about Draymond Green. Pile driving three guys to make room for Clay Thompson for a three with the game on the line. No, I didn't bitch about the end of the Phoenix. Thing. I mean, I, bro, you had a chance to make plays. Yeah. And you didn't do it. They did. Yeah. Like, 
End of story. They had the ball with two minutes left to go. He's got to go win the game. Yeah. All you got to do is go get a field goal. And you just got to get him in field goal. Well, and, they, and they couldn't. And then, then, you know, Jones makes the all pro sack, and it's. Uh, like they weren't able to protect Burrow all day. They, they sacked him five times. Yeah, they, they couldn't, they couldn't protect hey, did you find, Did you know what Patrick Mahomes' dad looked like before last night? Yes, only because this is hilarious. I had no idea what his dad looked like. We had a 19. We uh, – <clears throat> this is a funny story. So, you know how I have, like, tons of shirts and sweatshirts uh, from my buddies at Homage? Mm-hmm. Me and Rosa actually went before it was ever famous. You remember this? When I took you over to Homage in Columbus, Ohio, yeah. we went to the actual original store. And that's what? 10, 15 years ago? Yeah. Easy. It was like Easily. 2011. It was Will Barton. It was like 10 years ago, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Homage has become a big deal now. Oh, yeah. yeah. For, yeah, sure. yeah for sure. But like they, and I don't know if they still do it. I, th- I don't think so. I don't think they still do it because they're. I think they send like bumper stickers or like little stickers or stuff, maybe in the stuff, mm-hmm. but not like these. But when they were like first coming up and they were like cool, you know what I mean? They would always put like a box of like retro cards in your oh, okay. in your box yeah. when you would get it at your house, yeah. right? So and sometimes they would be like maybe a pack of like pop stars and it would be like these old like rock and roll cards, you know, with different, like, so you might get a heart and a flavor flave and a whatever. They're funny. Mm-hmm. And then there might be like a pack of new kids on the block cards in there, yeah. or there would be like a pack of like baseball cards or something. So we got a pack of, I think it was 1988 Donruss when it came in. And uh, I told William, I was like, you want to open it? And he opened it and he got a Pat Mahomes Wow. In the pack. And oh, he was wow. like, is this his dad? And I was like, it is his dad. He got the car, the baseball card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he didn't know. I had no So that's idea how was... I knew okay. is because my son got his dad's baseball card in this pack that we had gotten from Homage from the 80s. That's crazy. It is crazy. And like I saw his dad last night. It said Patrick Mahomes' dad. And I was like, wait, that's his dad? You know he's a major league pitcher. He was like, look at him. Yeah. I was like, that's his pops? Okay. I was like, oh, okay. All right. Patrick Mahomes got a little flavor to him. <laughs> that's his pops. Well, unfortunately, that's his brother. Yeah, we all know about him. Yeah, dude. I do not want to see him dancing. The Brother's Super Bowl. wild as a buck. Oh, man. Yeah. So is his wife. Yeah. yeah. His wife always pouring champagne on people. Bro, his wife's always screaming in all the videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He had to tell her to chill that one time yeah, on he Twitter. Did. He told her to chill on Twitter. I think he spends his whole life telling people around him to chill. <laughs> yeah. Because Kelsey last night was wild. Yeah, Travis Kelsey was Travis wild. Travis Kelsey saying, Burl had my ass. <laughs> and then telling the Cincinnati mayor that he needs to know his role. Shut his mouth, you jabroni. You jabroni. <laughs> I mean, Kelsey was on one last night. Yeah. I mean, um, for good reason, too, bro. You, They said y'all were going to lose that game. People well, said you were going to lose. All these AFC championship games that this guy has been to already yeah. is just incredible. Yeah. Um, and that moves me to number three, the NFC title game. Ooh. Well, oh, let's no. hear what he has to say. Oh, poor one out for Rose, man. So I channel my uh, the inner uh, Greg Popovich. Oh, okay. I remember That's when the uh, the team uh, they played the Grizzlies here in the playoffs, and the Grizzlies had you know were out Zach Randolph, and I think uh, Marcus Gasol was out, like and a bunch, of, and so they swept us. And uh, Popovich got up there after the series, and he said, you know, it wasn't a fair fight. And when Purdy went down in the second series of the game, uh, it just wasn't a fair fight after that. Like we didn't. <laughs> I'm going to win with a quarterback. You know, I mean, Kittle was asked after the game, he said, how does it feel? He was asked how it felt to play an NFC Championship game without a quarterback. And he said, how does it feel? Pretty crappy, honestly. Um, so, Buzzard's luck is what they call it. Ooh. They call um, it buzzard's luck. Where yeah, it's like, it was... when you're down to four, yeah. Josh Johnson, and they're posting the 15 teams that he's played for. Mm-hmm. The first play, like, he gets, like, devoured on the first play he plays. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, Give the guy some help. I mean, At least block for him, please. I mean, the Eagles, I'll say this. They are uh, they did nothing offensively. See, this like last year I was not upset losing to the Rams because the truth is the Rams were better than us. 
Like, I felt like the Rams were a better team. Like, we, they should have beaten us the last week of the regular season, and we never would have made the playoffs, and they blew a 17 to nothing lead against us. I mean, they had Aaron Donald, they had Jam- J- uh, Ramsey, they had freaking Von right. Miller, Odell, they had Odell like, Beckham. I mean, Odell, Be- Odell Beckham, Cooper, Cooper Cup. Cup. Yeah, they had a loaded. running game. Robert Woods. Robert Woods, Stafford's dealing, like. So to, you we, say we that Purdy does not to stay on that field, y'all win that game. If game. Brock Purdy stayed on the field the I beginning don't know of the if game, win. Win. Yeah, I think we win by double digits. Okay, I, you smoking a pack for real. Yeah, I think, I I, there's nothing about <laughs> that, that Eagles team other than their defensive line that Here's the thing. Me. Brock Purdy didn't get 11 penalties. No, he didn't. Your defense did. So, Well, not all defense, but, but your defense was wildly. And they were like that all playoffs. You had you had penalty problems. No, we didn't. Yes, you did. You are the most penalized team in the playoffs. The 49ers had 11 accepted penalties. That's more than referee John Hussey's regular season crew had per game at all for both teams. The Eagles had seven first downs via penalties. It's the most in a playoff game since 2002. Wait, brother, so you say the refs screwed y'all now? No, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Because the, the say. face mask penalties are the face mask penalties. That's, that's fine. The illegal contact stuff, man, some of that, it's like, bro, you can call that every play. The roughing the punter was total crap because Jordan Mason was held and then pushed into the punter. Like, that's obvious as anybody. The other thing, too, is if you're going to call 11 penalties on us, the Eagles need about 30 called on them because, Chris, you will back me up on this. That freaking right tackle moves before the snap on every play. (laughs) Every play he moves before the snap. Every play. It is. (laughs) Devin, go back and pay attention. Really? Dude. Every play well, the crazy And the crazy thing is, like, as I, and I was watching the game with him. I said, like, uh, a lot of the stuff that I thought in terms of the way it would play out, and we'll never know because they were not able to run an offense. If you can't run an offense. Yeah, we cannot then, run an offense. So, I mean, what are you going to do? Yep. They could not run their offense. He had two completions, yeah. and, and then he got knocked out. So they couldn't run their offense at all, so we won't know. But in terms of being able to slow down their running game and Hurts running the ball and, for, and forcing him to be a thrower and him not being able to do it at a success rate that would kill you, that was 100% true. Yeah. 100% true. Like he, It felt like every catch they made was spectacular. Yeah. Yes. He yeah. sprays that thing everywhere. <laughs> yeah. He's not accurate. No, he's not. He's not accurate. If you can turn him into a guy that has to stand back in the pocket and complete a pass, you know what I mean? Yes. He can throw the, the long ones. You know, he's great deep ball thrower and – he, but well, even when on you the have, A.J. When, Brown one, he threw it into the stand. I mean, it's like. Well, and, and, yeah. and, and, and when you have Devontae and A.J. Brown, a lot of times, dude, I, I watched on a couple of the deep balls that he tried to throw. Bro, he literally just throws it up. I mean, yeah. And it's like try to let those guys make a play. Sometimes what you got to do, man. Well, hey. and how they got the ball, like, and you guys stopped them completely several times and yeah, then we had them, gave we, them first downs on penalties. Yes. Gave, gave them him, first downs on penalties. Gave him first down on penalties. I mean, the guy just he sprays it. It's an amazing catch. Even though he didn't catch yeah. it. Even though he didn't, even though catch, though he didn't it. catch it. Yeah. But you know what? And, and I, I, I'm going to defend this, though. There's not one of us in the world yeah, we all thought that it was didn't a catch. think that was a catch. <laughs> no, but it's, Like, you had to super <laughs> no. slow-mo that yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. It is up to the NFL in that replay booth because they can overturn that quickly, and nobody up there did, which they should have. And Shanahan should have thrown the challenge flag. But they, to seven, man. but they got up to the line. No, they averaged. Um, well, they had they averaged three point eight yards per play. They averaged three point four yards per carry. Yeah, he threw for hundred and twenty five yards. But we had them pegged. Rosie, yeah. you had them pegged. Y'all lost thirty one to seven. Yeah, bro, you didn't watch the game. We had them pegged. I will say this. they ain't impressive, man. Look, they're not. Look, look, here's what the happened. defensive line is, but they're no, but not. No, four, fourteen seven. I thought they had them, and then they come back, and they, like this is right before the half. We get a first down right away. He to gets Debo. a first down, and then Shannon. I will blame him for this. Because he tries to get aggressive here. Yeah, he tried. He wanted to go try and to score. And they end up fumbling Josh and Johnson gave it right the, back to Josh Johnson fumbled Philly. the snap. So it was like all short field crap. I it, mean, was. it It really was their offense destroying them. Right. Yes. But I will but say that's this. That's a part of the game, though. It's a, it's a football yeah, game. Yeah, and, and well, I mean, and it's obviously clear. It was self-destruction. The Cowboys would have been much better <laughs> opponents for that team. I will say this. I, mean, I, will, say, shame, I will say this. It's a shame, man. It's a shame what happened. I will say this. Shame, Y'all man. are uh, – what am I hearing? 
Y'all are better. Oh, it's one of these ads that's playing. Little Uzi Vert uh, runs the team out. They went thirty-one to seven, bro. Y'all are uh, y'all are better than that Eagles team. That that's what upsets me is that they, when you look when we lost Purdy, it it really did kill us. I mean, it just killed the chances. Like we could, like you said, we could not run an offense. I do not feel like we lost to a better team. I, I'm glad they. Look, I'm glad that it was thirty-one. Look, the best thing for me ever was that it was thirty-one to seven, and that they smash the Forty ers and that. <laughs> Everybody is riding high on Hurts and them and everything else. I am going to slam, slam the Chiefs. I am praying that number hits three. Yeah. It's sitting at two and a half right now. It, I can't is, believe it. It is not difficult to figure out Hurts. It has been the same thing. Your buddy Warren Sharp talked about Give this. Give him two weeks. Has talked about this and on my homes, I get my homes and you get Hurts? Yeah. Come on, bro. It, it, he, uh, <laughs> dude, War, your buddy, what are we doing? Warren Sharp has talked about this. He has talked about this on several pods for Jay. It, there is a formula and a blueprint. You play zone defense and back a little bit off the receiver so they can't go over the top on you. He has no idea how to read a zone. There is nothing he did yesterday. Bro, he, is not he, is, he is not go, beating. Ooh, ooh, he ooh, is ooh. not beating Patrick Mahomes in he the is, Super Bowl. He right, is average, and they are about to pay him like he's Patrick Mahomes and Joe Burrow, Rose, and he is not Mahomes. Rose, and they Joe also Burrow. paid Jimmy Garoppolo, so oh well. Jimmy but, uh, Garoppolo did not make that much shout money. Shout out to J- J- Jalen Hurst and Patrick Mahomes. Don't you get to adopt shout him now? To, you had said one to, word I about saw, him. This I saw whole his year. dad. I saw his dad. I'm it now. I saw Patrick Mahomes. You never liked Jalen Hurst. What? No, 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 no. I never said I didn't like crap him. about Jalen Hurts. I care about never. him now because he is the, <laughs> the next lineage of Donovan McNabb. So shout out to Jalen Hurts. Donovan so McNabb is, is so much better than Jalen Hurts. <laughs> he might. He might. He might throw up. Jalen Hurts, Patrick Mahomes, the first black duo to start a Super Bowl. If Jalen Hurts I, wins the Super Bowl, it is the worst Super Bowl quarterback <laughs> since Trent Dilfer. <laughs> oh, I thought since you Trent Dilfer. Trent Dilfer. It is the worst Super Bowl winning quarterback since Trent Dilfer. Hey, but Dilfer. guess what, though? He'll have a ring, though. That's fine. Is that's one more than Jimmy Garoppolo got? No, I mean, Jimmy Garoppolo has like two or three. I tell you this: fly Eagles fly. I know this is sacrilege. The version of Peyton Manning that won it. Was <laughs> yeah, bad. it was pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, that, he, could, pay, yeah. he, he couldn't throw the ball. Yeah, I mean, he could not throw the ball. That was crazy. Yeah, he really couldn't. Like, yeah, it was go, quackers. hey, if you ever get a chance, that year they won the Super Bowl. Go look at his season stats. Let me see. Hold on. It's incredible. Yeah. Like really. You can't you can't believe it happened. No. And no one will ever remember it as this. And the fact that you won games with a quarterback with those stats just goes to show when you had Von Miller and Demarcus Ware and the rest of that crew. Oh boy. In, <laughs> in Denver. Oh boy. He started 18 games, bro, that year. Oh, he started 10. Oh, he started nine games through nine touchdowns. He was a 59% completion percentage. Uh, 191 for 331, 2,000 yards the whole season, and he was bad. 17 picks, yeah, he was a disaster. Nine touchdowns and 17 <laughs> He was a disaster. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's the worst quarterback that's won a Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I'd still At take that Jaylen over Jalen Hurts. At least Jalen Hurts is confident, bro. I'd take that over Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is not confident. Hey, hey, hey is he a top think, five MVP no, candidate? Hey, he shouldn't be. Hey, this is hey. why. No, this is when you know the guy is – decidedly mid is when you have guys like me and guys like Roser that are absolutely furious that your team lost to him. And it's like, yes, this guy doesn't even complete passes, <laughs> like reasonable passes, no. like to receivers in stride. His, His team. receivers are all like, Freaking Jerry Rice having to catch everything. Hey, yeah, dude, look, he, bro, every his season team, he's gotten better. That Jaylen team Hurts. is awesome. They are loaded with talent. They're loaded. They are loaded with talent, and that is the thing. Hertz is on the rookie deal. When you pay him, That's when that guy's going to be making twenty-five to thirty percent of your salary, he ain't, lo- he ain't. The it is going ain't to be different. Why is the MVP candidate? It is going to be different. So what? Matt Ryan won the MVP. Yeah, bro. I'm just saying, so MVP what? Did, Lamar, did you stand Matt Ryan? The hell no. Why not? Bro, bro, Lamar Jackson won an MVP. How's he look? Oh. <laughs> Jalen Hurts wow. going to the Super Bowl. Wow. We're making history. Lamar and he can't even be their first team anymore. Wow. He don't even want to show up Man, to his team. We're making history him. in the wow. Super Bowl, Roser. You at the crib. We're making history. I will say, on the bright side, hey, wait, wait, I hey, don't hey. have to see my team play Patrick Mahomes and get their ass kicked by hey, him again. Hey, when 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 uh when Brock Purdy didn't go in that game, I don't know. If, like you know how the NFL has everybody 
you know, they get like that sideline, whatever. Like they've got everybody mic'd up. Yeah, yeah. Purdy said to a guy, he's like, I'm on la- my Lamar ish. I ain't playing. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Relax. Relax. <laughs> Look, bro. We at least that Prescott plays. Hey, I mean, he, he plays. stinks. He, he, plays. he never really throw the ball in into the right team. But you, it's guys, okay. you guys just root for a bunch of lamos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your own team slanders your quarterback, though. Stop it. We're not talking about my team today. Your team. <laughs> Number four. The Tigers got another win. Good hey. for them. Beat Tulsa. Frank Hayes was all excited about it. Yeah, this is a former team. He had two security guards with him as he walked to the court. <laughs> was he scared? You see that? Uh, so uh, there was a uh, shot, Frank. Like Hayes. a called in threat the day before the game. What? Oh, yeah. that's why he was walking with security. There was something. Yeah, I saw something for about Frank Hayes. I don't know who it was about, One but on the platter, bro. Here, let me see if I can go. It's the the guy who writes about the Tigers for the Daily Memphian. Prath, pre, Prath. Yeah, I'm, I pre- can't. Man, yeah. I'll tell you this. When I have thought about danger, I have thought about Tulsa. Man, Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> what the heck? Bizarre. Is it? Yeah, man. I gotta 80 scroll to, through. His. Eighty to sixty-eight was the uh, score yesterday. Kenny Davis showed out in the second half per usual. Yeah, 26 yesterday is what he ended with. And, you know, the story remains the same, right? You have Kendrick Davis, who's got 26, uh, five assists, four rebounds, and a couple steals. And then you've got DeAndre Williams, who has 17 points and 11 rebounds. I, I honestly feel you can show me a stat line for Kendrick Davis and a stat line for DeAndre Williams, and I'll be able to tell you what happened in the game. Facts. 100%. Like, really? They are wildly dependent upon those two guys, which is somewhat stressful just in case one of them has an off (laughs) night or one of them gets in foul trouble. But when they are both good, they are good. It's a good team. It's a really really good team. Here it is. This is from uh, Kelly Hines at the Tulsa – she covers Tulsa for the Tulsa World. Sounds like a fun uh, job. Regarding the additional police presence surrounding <laughs> my bad, my bad. It. Damn, man. My bad, my bad. Why you got to go there, man? <laughs> She's trying to work her way up. Uh, regarding the additional police presence surrounding the Tulsa and Memphis coaches and benches, an undisclosed threat was made yesterday after the women's game here at the Reynolds Center. Tulsa police and university police found it not to be credible, but increased security as a precaution. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Look, they are now won five in a row. Um, you know, after they dropped that double overtime game they should have never dropped at UCF, you know, really the only bad one in Tulane. Yeah, that's it. Because they gave up like 140 points to them. Yeah, 96, they yeah. Yeah, they gave up a lot to Tulane. That was, College is the same thing. Look, that was a dud, but I mean, you're allowed to have a dud. They're 17 and 5, man, and I do like the team. I enjoy watching them play, yeah. especially Kendrick. I do, especially Kendrick. Oh like, God, he's the he's the most. He fun. got to two thousand points this week. I, I, I did, they, they, they're starting points. to look again like the team that I saw story? at the beginning of the year. Guy went to a lot of elementary yeah, schools. Did you hear about that? Yeah. That, oh my Jan- God. <laughs> you guys never heard this? <laughs> Jankovic is like yeah. a father figure. Yeah, to him. you know he had a mess of yeah. childhood. You yeah. Know? yeah, dad was incarcerated. You know. Oh, I had never heard that. <laughs> it's just, it's LeBron James is thirty-eight years old. Um, he is. Yeah, you didn't know that, did you? Mm-mm. No, they never tell you that either on TV. Um, no, they look. Why you gotta hail, bro? They bro. look like though. Yeah, come on, it right now. it's number five. <laughs> 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 yeah, right, thank you. I was like, I know that's got to be coming. You want to get somewhere. to it? Now? No, no, no. You, I was just saying the Tigers. The Tigers. They they're starting. Remember at the beginning of the season when I saw them the way they're playing Alabama and Auburn and Ole Miss and those. I was like, you know what? They seem to have their defined roles. It is much more enjoyable to watch than a bunch of guys who are just going to go out there and bitch on Instagram and post like lame Drake lyrics when they're upset. Like these guys, it's Kendrick, it's DeAndre, and everybody else falls in line. And then they kind of lost their way, and Penny talked about that, how they were losing the way. Yep, it and seems like it. they have found that again, yeah. and no, it is much more enjoyable like to watch. the Kendrick and get the hell out the way. For that real. being said, his team. Like, get be, out yes. the way, bro. And that being said, I can't wait to have Mikey Williams on the team who, quote, Stop. has problems dealing with teammates <laughs> next year. It's going to hey, be awesome. He said after the game, I, I went to watch some of his quotes. He said that he's going to go down as one of the greatest A's he plays of all time. He said that about himself. He is. Because he is a dog. He is, man. though. Yeah, he is. He is going to go. If he wins college player of the year twice, back to back. You mean conference? Conference, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you said college. My bad. He'll be all American. Shout out to Keontae Kennedy, my guy. He's hitting threes. He's been hitting threes, Dev. The guy who we said he has a good looking shot. I, I call it never it, goes in. It's been going in. I call it the Instagram model shot. It looks amazing, but when you see it, you're like, eh, I'm good. 
<laughs> it, it never, just, it never, never goes in. Never just, goes in. Never goes in. But, but it no, looks like great. They're looking good now, Rose. They're looking good, bro. Yeah, it's looking good. He's going in. Number five. LeBron destroys his legacy. Oh, my God. Rose. <laughs> 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 Look, man. I didn't expect it to happen over this weekend. But, bro, him crying and moaning about getting fouled at the last play of the bro. game. Look at this guy. Come on, bro. Come on, Bron. Bro, look like somebody ran over Why are you on your damn knees, man? <laughs> what are you on your hands and knees for? Do you think there's anybody in the world that could act like that over a call and not get a technical? Yes. I mean, the game was over with. What? No, it's no, overtime. It's overtime. overtime, yeah. And it's then Pat over. Bev walks up to the bro, th Pat, that's Pat Bev the thinks funny. Thing that that is life. funny. Like, that is the funniest thing. It was Eric Lewis, not Danny Crawford, showing him the camera. <laughs> no matter what anybody's opinion of Patrick Beverly is, and many people dislike him, okay? Anybody that does not feel that this moment is objectively funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is. Bro, he walked up to and the And then guy. he's look at him yell again. He turns around. Turns watch around, this. Points. He goes, it's a foul. <laughs> foul. <laughs> hey, run that back. You could tell whose camera he took. Look in the background. Run that back. Run that back. Run that back. You could tell whose camera he took. Look at the look at the blonde girl with the hoodie. She's like, oh, shh. I might be in trouble. Watch her reaction. Watch her reaction. Watch her. She's like, he took my camera. Oh. She's like, oh, no, he took my camera. Oh, watch it. Watch it. Oh. <laughs> Like it didn't work. It didn't work, man. So yeah, bro. Pat Bev is a comedian. That for was real. that. Hey. That is. You know it's bad. This you're gonna be sitting on the. You're gonna be sitting on the baseline, holding your camera. I'm out not, to yeah. somebody if they can't yeah. happen to the. Girl. Look, hey, Jared. Show him it's not a foul. <laughs> <laughs> show him that's a phantom foul. I got you, dude. He clearly gets fouled by yeah, Tatum. He got fouled. Okay. Yeah, he got fouled. But this Lakers response. I mean, look. The fact that it became, I mean, it's up for an Oscar, yeah. truly. And and then the aggrieved party, oh, no. everyone acting like it is the absolute worst thing that has ever happened and that this is happening to them all the time. And that I saw somebody this morning posted it t three times in the last couple of weeks that this has happened. Okay? <laughs> three times. So look. If you just slip, flip those, they would be 26 and 24, and look where they would be in the standings versus where they are in the standings because of that. Like, never mind. And again, I'm not going to go back because I don't care about watching the end of every all of the 50 Laker games. Let me just guess that they have also been the benefit of on the flip side. Including against the Grizzlies last weekend. Okay, Lakers like, playing yeah. woe is me is the is the wildest. Oh my it's like god! Spinning of the what? Like yo, woe is me Laker fans. Come on, bro. Get out. I'm sorry. Just I love can't Bron. catch a break. Yeah, I love Bron. They but come can't on, catch a break. And he like look, the guy got fouled. It's terrible, and it cost them a the game. There's not one of these. There's not a team that you can find. Not one. No. That does not have multiple things. That have bothered them this season that have happened to their team. Not one. Not one. Or feel like yeah. a game would have gone another way if not for a terrible call. I, I love it. It happens. Yes. And, and if you want to make the subject about terrible officiating, I'm all ears. Yeah. But the fact that this has become like the biggest deal, like, look, I'll give you for instance, right? Let's say the uh anybody can go back and watch it. Last two-minute report, Grizzlies are up against the Warriors in that game last week. Mm -hmm. Draymond comes down and clearly drives Dylan Brooks all the way back. Like he is like a blocker, like a fullback yeah. yes. in football. The, on the review, they said, totally missed call, Draymond Green, moving screen. And it's way worse than just a moving screen. Uh, it's like a he just, shoulder block. He blocks yeah. and pushes Dylan so that... Clay Thompson can get a wide open look at three, which then gives them the lead. Yes. In with, the four, last, with 14 seconds left. Mm -hmm. With 14 seconds left. Like yeah. it happened. And it's like nobody cried. Nobody made a huge deal the, about that. The refs didn't write a letter about it on Twitter. No. Look at this. Dude. This is bananas. <laughs> and they said, we missed the call. Sorry. 
And nobody's ever mentioned it again. Yeah, but they the didn't fact have sleepless the, nights over it. LeBron and the Lakers have made the biggest deal in the world about this game. Okay? Hey, let me just say two things that piss me off. A, they have made the biggest deal to the point where the re- the NBA rats. Yeah, they had to make a statement. <laughs> they, uh, did they lose any sleep over the Draymond missed call or not? Nah? They didn't miss a nah, lose. But did they, they have to, like, because it's LeBron, they have to say, it. you know, this rips our hearts out of our chest and we can't even sleep at night because of this. Like, give me a break. Stop. Why is LeBron acting like that over Rick's Also, I will, uh, I will wait. Uh, for the Anthony Davis fine, too. That that has to happen. But he said, we got cheated after the game. Bro, that's a fine. That has to be a fine. If anybody else goes to the post, any player goes to like the post and says, we got else, cheated. Referees make mistakes. We made one at the end of last night's game that's gut-wrenching. Wow. This play will weigh heavily and cause sleepless night. Get out of here. As we strive to do the best. Oh, my God. Just shut up. Bro. So then, all right, now let, they're, they're preposterous, okay? Yes. Now, let's fast forward, and let's just say the topic then becomes, look where the Lakers would be in the standings, right? A game like that, they lost a game like that on the last play of the game. Mm-hmm. So it's very clearly he was fouled on the last play of the game. They should have won that game instead of, Losing that game, and, and, they're in a position where every single win matters. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And Anthony Davis and LeBron James are sitting out tonight against Brooklyn. Yes. They are? Yeah. Like, shut up! Wow. If every game matters so much, play tonight. You need, I guess this you, one doesn't matter that much. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. you're, you're not even in the play here right now, bro. Everything you're, you're, matters. You're basically forfeiting Yeah. tonight. Right? No, well, we you're hope forfeiting. so. You're you never, know, you never know with the Nets without KD. That can kind of go either, either way. but No, you're basically forfeiting. You're one and nine in the last ten. Yeah. See Kyrie you, show no, that's not. Tonight. That's not. That's not last ten. Is that the division? Uh, that might be... Home away. They won like five in a row. I think. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not one and nine in their last. It was division, division game. I, I love our buddy. Uh, our but I mean, like, how can you, with a straight face, say every single game matters? And then you and literally then the sit your best players the next two nights <laughs> against a team that's pretty good. Because it's not like you played Sunday and then played night. No. You played Saturday night in Boston, which is like it's eight. not even a back to back. You're literally ride. getting on a plane and being on a Boston to Brooklyn is what it's twenty minutes, ride. thirty minute plane so ride. So the crazy thing yeah. is, if they miss out on something, they're gonna bitch about that Tatum game, and they would nothing will ever be brought up about tonight when they both sat. Yeah. That's why are you both sitting? Yeah. Yeah. And why did you? You got to win. LeBron didn't even act like that when J.R. Smith messed up in no. the finals. Where it mattered. Uh, he wasn't on his hands and knees. Like he wasn't on his hands and knees. Like he was, he was on his hands and knees, bro. During the, yeah. in, like, Le- dude, LeBron James is so full of crap. Dude. Okay, he is. Relax, bro. He okay, is. I mean, too far. The drama it king. Obvi- it, it, look, too far. obviously it destroyed his legacy. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, I, his legacy's been destroyed obvi- for me. Obvi- obviously, obviously now uh, nobody's going to care about breaking Kareem's record. And <laughs> Deb, oh, Deb, 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 you got, Deb, you oh, got to admit this. Oh, is that why he's doing it? Is he getting close? How close is he? Oh, he's getting close. He wants to do it at home. He wants to do it at home. Oh, because oh. if he scores X number tonight, until if he scores home. X number tonight, yeah, then it might put it off track. Yeah, it's all about if he him. Doesn't. It's always about him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, LeBron James. How is, many? He needs 117 points. Oh, so that. it's, it's well, that like, was three days ago. So hold on. How many off is he? Well, yeah, he's averaging yeah, like 35 a game, I think though. 117 yeah. is what he's off. He's 117 away right now? Mm-hmm, I think so. Oh. So that's like three How games. long is their road trip? Uh, let me see. Yeah, because he's averaging 35 a game. Yeah. So they got Nets. They got Lakers. Uh, they got Nets and they got Knicks. Why would he not want to do it in the Mecca? Well, no, he's not going to get 117. <laughs> <laughs> then he got yeah, Pacers. Be, I'd actually give him if props he if he did. If he, tried in the to, if he tried to, that I'd actually like. <laughs> I would actually be in favor of him taking every single <laughs> shot to try to score 118 points. So I'd be got, in favor of that. He got Nets, Knicks, and then he got Pacers. You don't want to do it against the Pacers. Pelicans, Thunder. Are those all road? 
these are the Pacers is at Indiana, Pelicans is at Pe Pelicans, Thunder is at Lakers. So next home game is against uh, the, the Thunder. Oh, so he has to take some off. He has to take some to do it at the crib. If he wants to do it at home, or, he can't play in all these games. Exactly. Or if you want to do it against the Warriors, do it at the Warriors on February 11th. No, but he you, wants to do it in the. In yeah, the absolutely. And so if you you can't play in all these games, or else you'll break it on the road. Exactly. Yeah. You break it in Indiana. Yeah, you break it in Indiana would be terrible. That's lame as hell. And you know he's going to do, do a hook shot. Man, going to hit a shot on O'Shea Brissett. He's going to do a hook <laughs> shot to break it too. Just know it's LeBron. He's going to do. He's going to know he get two points away. Bag down, shimmy. I would hook across I, the I, line. I, I hope he has to try ten hook shots before <laughs> he makes it. <laughs> He's gonna do I'm telling you right now, he's gonna break it with a hook shot. Like I've seen, LeBron is he loves theater. He made he did house party, which is trash. I need a refund. It stinks. Yeah, I need a refund. Dog. I, the trailer was good. I need a refund. Bro. It's one of those. The trailer's yeah. awesome, bro, and that's that shit is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I want a refund, LeBron. Give me my 1835 back. It's terrible. Bro, it's so bad. I went in, I went in uh, San Francisco and saw it. I need my 1835 back. I'll tell you about it in, uh, when we talk about it. But, um, yeah, so he's going to do back down, shimmy, cross the lane. He might even wear goggles in the game. Wait, hold on. Was it 1835 yeah, for shit. one ticket? Yeah, that shit was too hot. Bro. Wow. In San Francisco? Damn. You said what? In San Francisco? Yeah, bro. I went to the AMC yeah. theater. That joint was like an HD and everything. That joint was terrible. 1835. 1835. Wow, and I the thing that's why I stayed for the whole thing because I paid. And you would have gone in the middle of the day, Shall or did you I go at night? night? I went oh, to like the ten o'clock one. Was there anybody there? It was like six people. In there. <laughs> I had my feet kicked up. <laughs> Maybe that's why you got so mad about the foul. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> seen this movie. Nobody seen my movie. I, I put all this time into this movie. <laughs> oh I'm God. taking a bath on this movie and Jason Tatum's foul. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Like, bro, man, look, bro, I need my you know, hey, you know how you know it's super trash? Is because you can always recruit all kinds of famous people to promote it for you, and I have not seen one Nobody. person say a word about it. Oh, that joint. I have not heard one. I have not seen a tweet about it. About house party. Nope. None. Because it's terrible. When I saw Kid Cudi get into a fighting scene, I was like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> like, shit, I got to get out of here, bro. Kid Cudi fighting scene? I'm like, yeah, it's a wrap for me, bro. Uh, take a, a quick break. We'll get to the last five on the other side. Chris Barney, show. Hungry as a bear? Grizzlies fans can score big by ordering their favorite combos. If you pick up the Burrito Supreme combo from your local Taco Bell through February 21st, you'll score a key tag good for a free Nacho Cheese Doritos Locos Taco on future visits. What's better than a Grizzlies win? Free tacos at Taco Bell. Stop by today to get yours. Available participating Memphis area Taco Bell locations while supplies last. Free item valid per disclaimer on back of key tag. Nacho fries are back at Taco Bell. You know, the fries covered in bold Mexican spices you dip in a warm nacho cheese sauce. You could also dunk them in a nacho cheese sauce or pour the sauce onto a pile of them and create like a nacho fries nachos. The thing is that you eat them with nacho cheese sauce. That's what makes them nacho fries. Otherwise, you're just eating fries and sipping on nacho cheese sauce, and that's the wrong way. Sorry, just really passionate about nacho fries. Nacho fries are back, only at Taco Bell. At participating U.S. Taco Bell locations for a limited time only while supplies last. Contact local store for hours and participation, which vary. Represent Every Day, presented by Delta Dental of Tennessee, is an incentive-based program focused on keeping youth K-6 through grade engaged in school in order to combat truancy. In partnership with Shelby County Schools and with the help of Delta Dental of Tennessee, the Grizzlies are focused on reducing chronic absenteeism among the most impacted schools in the Mid-South. Students in the program have the opportunity to win fun and unique prizes by going to school every day and being engaged in the classroom. For more information on the program, visit Grizzly Grizzlies.com slash community slash education today. Grizzlies fans know it's the team that gives you the edge. Big River Steel does too. And much like the Grizzlies have recruited legendary talent, we want you to be part of our team. Are you ready to be part of something legendary? Then visit www.bigriversteel.com. That's www.bigriversteel.com.
Lieutenant, can you tell us what happened today? Our officers responded to a crash on I-40 westbound this morning. The driver of a pickup truck lost control of the vehicle, veered left, and went into a ditch. 911, what's your emergency? We've been in a crash. Please send someone. My fiancé is hurt. A front seat passenger was wearing a seatbelt. She survived without injury. The driver was not wearing a seatbelt and was ejected from the truck. He died at the scene. Law enforcement writes tickets to save lives. Brought to you by the Tennessee Highway Safety Office. Life Care Ambulance is proud to be an official partner of the Memphis Grizzlies and FedEx Forum. At Life Care, they wear their hearts with pride. Their passion is their people. They want you to love what you do and where you do it. Their employee-driven culture encourages a healthy work-life balance and supportive work environment. They invest in your success and well-being so that you can provide the best care for the patients that they serve. Join the incredible team of EMTs and paramedics in Memphis, Nashville, and across the nation today. Learn more at lifecareamb.com. Eight-time Grammy Award-winning Anita Baker. Anita Baker, the songstress, live in concert for one night only. FedEx Forum, November 22nd, 2023. Get tickets now at LiveNation.com. Don't miss your chance to see the legendary Anita Baker live in Memphis. Are you ready? The toughest sport on dirt is back for an all-new 2023 season. Join the party and come watch the Cowboys of the PBR Pendleton Whiskey Velocity Tour ride the rankest bulls on the planet. The Bluff City Classic, February 18th at FedEx Forum. Tickets start at 15 bucks. Get yours at PBR.com or Ticketmaster.com. Get them while you can and find out what it means to be Cowboy. At Mountain Dew, we'd like to remind you that the world as we know it would not exist without the number zero. Which is why, at Mountain Dew, we'd like to recognize the number zero for making Mountain Dew Zero Sugar possible. Even with no sugar, it packs all of the bold citrus kick Dew Nation knows and loves. It's so good, you have no reason not to try it. As in zero. Get it? Crack open an ice-cold Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. It's zero sugar. All do. Welcome back to the Chris Vernon Show on GrindCityMedia.com and the Grind City Media YouTube page. Presented by Caesar Sportsbook. Now, back to your host, Chris Vernon. Yeah, that is struggle, but we overcome. And at the jungle, man, we at the mud. Black, keep it moving, man, we on the run. And that is struggle, but we ain't done. Yeah. All right, we're back. Chris Vernon show. Look how crappy it is. I'm sorry. It cool. Bro, it I, is, I, man. I got, I got in the car to take William. So I had to take William to basketball at 7 a.m. this morning. Okay? He has to be there at 7. So we had to leave at, whatever, 640. And we walked outside, and I told him, I said, bro. <laughs> I said, why is it cold and wet every morning? Yeah. It's always cold and wet. I was, and you know, I live on that hill, so I had to take down my garbage this morning. Yeah. And I am I am one step away from very serious injury every time <laughs> I have to walk up and down that hill. Because there's no good way. It's slick. Yeah. So well, it's going to get worse tonight. I heard. You're supposed to have ice storms the next couple days. No, I will say, like, yesterday it was a little... Uh, like it was wet outside, but like I walked, I walked, I did that. I walked like two miles yesterday. It felt fine. Like the weather felt good outside. It was just wet. But like, yeah, this morning I'm like, Ugh. well, it's wet and cold. Sucks. Like I'm living in London. Yeah, <laughs> Seattle. Like By the way, incredible amounts of fog last night driving home. Uh, yes. Really? Yeah, there were like you know those signs on the highway that usually said like you know. Yeah. Think before you drink or whatever. Yeah. Um, they fog all alert. said, like, fog alert. Which means when you get to like, Shelby Farms. Fog alert. When fog you get alert. to Shelby, Walnut Grove, Shelby Farms, it's probably brutal. Terrible. It's always fog brutal alert. there. Yeah. Where'd the fog come from? Just the rain? Dude, I'm not a science person, so don't make fun of me. Science! Science! What, what, what creates fog? Like, call, bro, Brittany, I, call Brittany Bryant. Bro, bro I, don't, I don't know how <laughs> fog Brittany happens Bryant. either. Yeah, I don't know how As fog Brittany happens. Brittany Bryant, what makes fog? Yeah. She knows. We need a weather person. We need a weather person on here. All right, get that. What you need is the Caesars app. Turn the music oh, off. Oh, okay. Good grief, Roser. I'm sorry. 
You're mature. Why can't it be Caesar's, number six? Caesar Sportsbook. Go to your app store. Type in Caesar Sportsbook. First bet is on them. And if you're smart, take the Chiefs. You can get up to $1,250 back as a free bet if you don't win. Bet now using the code VERNONFULL. Yeah, Rosa and I uh, both going to be rocking with the Chiefs, but... You do have to take with a grain of salt the team that they're playing beat both of our teams. So, <laughs> so we're super salt. Hey, we, I lost. This is super salt game of the year. Yeah, exactly. I, I lost to both of these teams this year. <laughs> Meet me in the middle. I'm fine, like, bro. I just want a good game and a good Rihanna performance. By the way, at some books, uh, Kenneth Gainwell uh, from Memphis, he was uh, 250 to one to win Super Bowl MVP, and there have been a bunch of bets that have come on him to win MVP. Someone in Tennessee put down like 350 bucks on him to win MVP. It'll pay out like over 70 grand. Kenny Gainwell, and they dropped his odds to like 100 to one. Oh, so wow. they're still great, but like right. they've gone down. He get two touchdowns, maybe you know. We got two Tigers. We got Jake Elliott and Kenny. So he you know. ran. He ran the, the ball clip, better than anybody for the yesterday. Bro, the clip of your guy Dre Greenlaw throwing. Punches at the ball as Kenny Gainwell is holding it, but he still doesn't like lose the ball. That yeah. was pretty impressive. Yeah, no, because it is. he punched the ball straight like three times. Yeah, He's, I was like, is he punching someone? Yeah, and Greenlaw struts a big dude. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this, Devin. Look at this. Look at this. Just jabs. <laughs> These are direct hits on the ball, too. Yeah, that's he, pretty he is, strong. He is not letting that go. Bro. No, that's strong, man. That is strong. Yeah, Greenlaw's big dude. Dang. Greenlaw's a big dude. He's throwing, he's throwing body blows. <laughs> and he yeah. holding on tight. Hey, just that running back room was, what, 2018 Memphis? Oh. Kenny, Tony, Antonio. Daryl. Daryl. Crazy. Ooh, uh, boy. Patrick uh, Taylor. Patrick Taylor. Oh, boy. Damn, they had skills. <laughs> they did, man. Those guys <laughs> Mike Norvell, bro. <laughs> yeah, Mike Norvell had it going. Uh, all right. Let's get back to the top uh, ten, 10 things. Ten. Things, Number six. Things, What'd you watch? All right, let's just start with. Things, right. things, well, things, before you get into house party, even though you already covered it, I got another one though. Well, look, we all watch Royal Rumble. We did. Yes. I'm gonna say this. Loved it. I uh, I was at a basketball game on Saturday night, kids game. So on, uh, I text you guys because you would you were texted about the Royal Rumble, and I said, stop now. <laughs> I'm not going to get I'm going to try to watch it tonight If I don't get to watch it tonight I'll watch it tomorrow So on Saturday night I get home And <laughs> I can't So I only have like that WWE network With the Peacock You gotta have it on Peacock yeah, yeah, yeah I know But I only have that Because I've got like An Xfinity box That yeah. they gave me Yeah When I got my internet Yeah but that's the only time I ever used that box because yeah. I've got DirecTV and Roku and I got all that uh, Amazon Fire, whatever. I got them all, yeah. right? So anyways, I never used that box. And so, but that's the only thing I can get the Peacock thing on because it came with it. It's free mm-hmm. on there. And so, long story short, and this is sad. This is a sad story. I didn't get to watch the Royal Rumble on Saturday night because I could not find the remote to the Xfinity box. My Yo! God. Yeah. Story of your life. So bro. I watched it on Sunday. When you found it, what was it? What was the uh, remote? Better. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I downloaded an Xfinity remote app <laughs> on my phone that works. And it turns your phone into a remote. And there I got go. it to work. And then when I got home from the game last night, yeah. I, I ran in the door. I walked in the door, and my daughter, she's doing this thing for a talent show. She'd been waiting for me to get home so she could show me. She gives me a big hug, and then she runs in the other room, and she goes, Daddy, look! And it's the remote. Oh, man. And I was like, where was that? She was like, under a hat. <laughs> and I was like, great. All right. <laughs> yeah, I know. Under a hat. So, long. Uh, anyway, Sunday I watched Royal Rumble. Yo, I loved it. I yes. cannot remember from beginning to end me loving a wrestling pay per view more. I'm talking WrestleManias, anything. I, like in a long, long, I, uh, yeah. long, long time. I will say since I have watched two of these events. 
the ma- of the major wins since Triple H has been in charge of the creative stuff. SummerSlam was his first SummerSlam one in Nashville. One. When Brock, and, was, Brock versus Roman. Yeah. And then this one. And I have been thoroughly entertained Dude, throughout the entire thing. Men's Royal Rumble was unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Yes. I loved it. Yes. I loved it. And I got to be honest, like, I lamented the way it, like, kind of played out, especially with Gunter. <laughs> but by the Gunter. end, by the <laughs> end, Gunter. by the end, I saw this incredible humor in the fact that Gunter. <laughs> Was in there, and what are they calling General what? Oh, um, he's something general. Oh, the ring general. The ring general. The ring general. Yes. Yes, and I mean, name. well, and his name used to be like Walter or something, yeah, but yeah, now yeah. he's Gunter. He's Gunter now. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I gotta be honest. I. You not a Gunter I lo- guy. No, I I've warmed up to it by the end. Just the idea of this big, like. <laughs> Mean looking. He's not really any. He doesn't do anything fun or spectacular. No, nah. But he's just Gunter. And <laughs> he's it's Gunter. a cool name. He's like yeah. Nikolai Jokic. Bro. No, he, like, he yeah, really he's is. He's like Nikolai Jokic of yeah. the WWE. He's just yes. like a big dude. Yeah. He kind of looks, he's kind of got a Zangief Street Fighter thing going on yeah. without yeah. the facial hair. Yeah, they screw around with some of the guys. Obviously, it makes me mad. They mess around with Omas. Yeah. You know, Brock. They, my boy Otis. Dude, oh, yeah. stealing Otis. shows. Yeah. Otis was hilarious. Otis is hilarious. When he comes down to that ring, dude, <laughs> so funny. And I, I like a lot of the bits. Um, I was, you know, I gotta be honest. Logan Paul is awesome. I think, dude, that spot was probably the best thing I've ever. I think seen. he's probably the best non wrestler wrestler I've ever seen. Dev, WrestleMania, we need Logan Paul against Ricochet. Like dude, how awesome would dude, that, that be? That move that, is that the, they did against yes, each other. Crazy as Dude, seen that mind. is the athleticism yes. that that takes. And the other thing is he plays a good character because he knows everybody doesn't like him, but he can really like do yes. moves and stuff. Oh, yeah. Dude, he's an athlete. I'm man. like, yo, this guy is good. Yes. Natural. Yeah. Yes. It was like superhero stuff. Oh, the yeah. other, the other thing that uh, you know made me uh, a little irritated about it is I haven't, I don't watch except sporadically. That's the best thing about the Rumble. You can watch it. That's right. In any time. I don't watch on. except for sporadically. Yo, Braunlas does not. He's ruined the whole big monster of men thing. Oh, he he looks normal. Down. He slimmed down. Yeah, he, he just did. looks like a normal guy. Yes, he, he slimmed down. He's not he's nearly still as big. Six ten, bro. No, he's not. No, he's okay, not. Six, he's no, like he's not. Six, six, six. Did you see what he looked like compared to Omos? Yeah, Omos is like seven three. They no, haven't the, figured uh, out Omos what to do not, with him. Omos, Omos is not no, seven three. No, because really like, They don't let Omos dominate like they should let Omos dominate. They did this thing and then like he didn't really like it didn't really hold, so they did they they brought him back down. Yeah, and they well, pushed him, and then they brought him All back. right, so that was a look. And uh, though you knew that Cody, because of the pec yeah. injury, you know, that got – you know that when he came over, he was – made promises as to how they were going to push him. Exactly. And then the pec injury derailed all of that. Yes. And so now they're just making that right. Yes. So, I mean, you had to figure – You get him – and The Rock yeah. The Rock yeah, is not going to be able to do WrestleMania like, uh, this year. Like so. somebody that watches it, I was like, yeah, Cody's coming back. He's going to win. But it was still entertaining. One thing I love, one thing I didn't – Loved Booker T being a surprise. Yep. That was awesome. And then doing the spinner Rooney in the middle of the ring. Yes. Hated the way they played the Mysterio thing. Because I think everybody was waiting for him to come out. Yeah. At some point. So he the word and is. And eliminate was, Dominic. The word is he was actually like hurt. He got hurt on Friday. Uh, but then, so like the, the initial like store was supposed to be with something like that. But Mysterio got hurt Friday in a match, uh, a dark match. So then they had to scrap it and do it a different story. Uh, okay. So they, they wanted to do exactly what you wanted. They wanted to have him and Dominic because they're gonna play that's that up the for, story for Mania. Okay. Dominic versus Ray, but they had to shift it because Ray got hurt. Okay. Loved McAfee being there. Oh, yeah. he's, he's amazing. I love him. He's, he's the amazing. Best. Um, and then the Mountain Dew match. Great. The pitch black I mean, match you, with Bray Wyatt. Of, I want to know what you think about it because like. I, I loved it. I loved, I loved it. I loved oh, it. It looked so awesome. cool. It looked so cool lit up like when that. When he was when he did the whole corner thing and then he turned red and then he's got the uncle whatever his name okay, is. Uncle Howdy. Uncle yeah, Howdy. dude, that was all so weird. So yeah. alleg- I like it. They say allegedly that's his brother, Bo Dallas. Dude, I like how weird it is. Yes. Yeah. Like the thing is, I'm like I'm with wrestling people watching this. They're like, oh, I hate that. What? I'm like. You need to watch it with people like us, man. Ten years we ago, don't, we don't watch all the time, bro. Like, this exactly. is awesome. It's entertaining. Ten years to us. ago, I tweeted that Bray Wyatt had more 
charisma in his pinky than the rest of that roster combined, and they don't know what to do with him. And they still have screwed around with him. But, like, I love everything he's I've loved everything he's done since I first laid eyes on him. He's a new Undertaker. He's awesome. Yeah. He's a new Undertaker, bro. Like, that's the thing. He's that whole t- Wyatt family thing was awesome back yeah. in the day with the Fireflies, and they got the whole crowd singing, got the whole world. He's freaking creepy, bro. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> no, it is. It's, he's it's, a new Tiger. It's a character. Yeah. It's no. A character. I know you hate, like, regular ass. I hate the regular like, guy. Like Bobby Lashley. Yes. God, he sucks. <laughs> he's thing. He is. He's so blue. <laughs> oh, I did love Brock losing his mind. <laughs> yeah, beating up everybody. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. I will say there is there's one thing, especially with the Royal Rumble. I love when Lesnar comes in and just starts mangling everybody. Like and I feel bad is, for him because he is he, a little bit too stiff with his. Head. He is so strong. Oh no! I mean, he just picks everybody Mammoth. and just starts throwing them out of the ring. Like, yeah. God, he's a monster. Well, women's Women's Royal Rumble, great, amazing, great. I think, I think, the it, ending was, I think was, it was better personally. I think the women's was better than the men's too, too, especially the ending. The, end, I, the way it finished. Was I great. finally got over my fury of them renaming Dewdrop. <laughs> Piper whatever. Piper Niven. Dewdrop is one of the great wrestling names yes. ever. Dewdrop was so and awesome. big fat lady named Dewdrop is so upsetting that they renamed her Piper and, Niven. And it's not the same. You can't no. just put pictures of Piper Niven on your I, daughter's bed I know. and everything. Oh, dude. When she came out. And it said they were like Piper Niven, and I'm like, that's Dewdrop. Yeah. I was so mad. So you know what's funny, bro? That's her name that everybody knew her by before. In WWE, changed her name to Terrible. Dewdrop. So they try to give her a name back, and Terrible. everybody hates her. Name. I was also <laughs> mad that Nikki Cross doesn't do the almost superhero thing anymore. <laughs> yeah. I loved that. A little nerdy weirdo doing the almost. Well, well, no, she's I a love crazy, that. She's a crazy person now. Though. I know. She's a White Walker. She's from always Game of been that. She's like a. She's always been crazy. Yeah, she acts like a White Walker. I like that. Like that. But I don't like the. Uh, but I. I wanted. I liked the almost superhero <laughs> thing. I thought that was so corny Nikki and good. A- Nikki A S H. Yes. Yeah. Hilarious. Great stuff. It was what, funny. What do you think about the uh, about our uh, Lexa Bliss turning back to Bray? Did you watch that part? Uh, what I thought was I did not recognize her. You did? Because it's been that long since I watched. She yeah. has had a tremendous amount of plastic surgery. Yes. Oh, she Alexa does Bliss. not look Alexa like she Bliss. used to. Alexa Bliss? Yes. I didn't know who that was. I, I thought the same thing when I saw her. I was like, what? Is the... Maybe I watched it too long. It often. all just looked like plastic. The best thing ever was Asuka coming out in her costume Oscar. with the lion head. Asuka <laughs> is goaded, man. Asuka is goaded. Oh, unbelievable. She I is the Oscar. best. I Everybody hate, I, loves Asuka. I don't. What? I'm I'm not do you not like Asuka? Like, she is she awesome. Does, she's uh, whatever. She is awesome. Awesome. She spits that crap yeah, in your face. It's hilarious. <laughs> so good. Yes. So good. I'm so glad Rio The dust? Yeah, real one. She, she's the next superstar. She's the next one. Oh, yeah. Rhea, Rip, Rhea Ripley? Oh, dude. Oh, the okay. one that won. Deb, she's yeah. the next one, Deb, bro. you don't even know how in-depth to the Royal Rumble I went. You can go back and watch on Peacock, and at the ending of all of it, you can watch the press conferences. Ah, There's I no watched, way you watch the press conferences. I watch Rhea Ripley. You did not. I watch Rhea Ripley. I watch Cody Rhodes, and I watch Triple H. You watch a wrestling press conference? I didn't watch the whole thing. If, if the question bored me, and I some didn't of Bray really Wyatt. Press yeah. Who's a reporter and, for like, who's a wrestling Bray reporter? Wyatt. Oh, that's even better. That's even better when you see Ariel the pool Hawani. of reporters. No, it's like there's one guy from SB Nation. This other guy from like some wrestling magazine. I mean, there's like 20 or 30 of it's them a there. Scrum, but. Oh, it's just the 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 people who they are, and when they stand up and the cameras on, it's like, yeah, of course that guy's the wrestling writer. <laughs> like, what kind of questions do they ask? Like, uh, like a basketball game? Like, how do you feel when? No, like, I mean they they ask about getting to the moment, um, oh, okay. like, like, overcoming injuries and things like that. The, the, you know, the Triple H stuff is interesting. He's so good. The, he is so good. The at other talking. one that I think they should play up just from watching it is who was this super tiny girl that almost looked like a doll with the weird like cone hair you know what I'm talking about she almost looked like a little troll doll uh, and she's got like baggy jeans on but she is like four foot tall yeah I'm trying to think whoever who, that who is are you talking about? like she is so unique and so different than everybody else. I'm like, bro, she is so little. Did, did she was she one of the? Uh, she looks like a little doll. Was she one of the uh, NXT people or was she like? Maybe. Let's see. Hold on. Whoever was in the Royal Rumble, and, and she's got the hair. 
Like she's, you know, almost like a Spice Girls hair. Yeah, I'm trying to find the entry list, but I, I can't remember her name. Because they had a lot, a couple like NXT people in that match, and I was like, I've never seen them before. Okay, well she they is, did have a bunch of. NXT she's years. gonna be one coming up, and you yeah. could tell because she's. It all it all looks so different because she is so unique. She is tiny, yeah. and tiny. I, I heard you know Triple H. One thing you could tell is that he was in charge for NXT for a while because he kind of lit up when he was asked about Rhea Ripley because she came from that. NXT. So he literally has seen her and been working with her and building her up since she came in. Oh, Selena Vega. And started Somebody training. in the chat put it. Selena Vega was who you're talking about. You know her? Selena Vega. Yeah, she's on the the main roster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she is? Yeah, she's on the main roster. Yeah. Here's Dude, she is um so much different. I, I kept on asking them. I'm like, who is the little girl? <laughs> Who she's? I'm like she is so little. She's got these big cone, like yeah, you know, Spice Girl yeah, there. Yeah, that's Selena Vega. She was tiny. I'm like she's fun. She's apparently she's doing like uh she's doing a Street Fighter commentary on the video game. Yeah, oh, that was her. Oh. Yeah. And the new Street Fighter, she's doing a commentary on the game. She's so fun. That's so pretty cool. Yeah, Selena Vega. Cause she's you know, so unique. Yeah. And of course I love Nia coming in. Oh, Nia Jax. Is yeah. she, is she stands in the middle. That was so good. <laughs> That was great. Nia Jax, and then they all team up on her. Yeah, to get and her then out. she throws them all away. And they and then, nope. and then, then they, they got, got her. Out. Hate her, by the way. Nia Jax. She's like oh, in real life. Like in real life, he, she got real heat for real. Like real life heat. That's why she was she was hurt, but like she got her nose broken. Yeah, she had her nose broken. Well, she broke Becky's nose too. Oh, she broke Becky's nose. The man. the man. What was her thing? She'd been out for a year. I think she got she got hurt. Oh, okay. Becky, yeah, yeah she, Becky, she got get, get, get to the main event. The main event is the part that the main oh, I, think, I think, bro, is I went the, back and watched the it. greatest storyline in wrestling Dude. in the last fifteen years. So good. So, do you think what they're gonna do now is it's gonna be? Do you think it'll be Kevin, Sammy, and Jay, they, and they'll align versus the other three? I think they'll do they'll do Sammy and Kevin versus the Usos for the tag team titles. No. Jay turned. I know he, tur- he didn't turn. He just kind of walked away. Nah. I don't think he turned. I think they're roping Jay in. We will uh, find out more tonight on Monday Night Raw. Raw should be good tonight. I think they're going to do that because the thing, the issue they have right now, I think Triple H, he did a good job with it. He kind of screwed up because now you have Cody Rhodes who won it, right? And you have to have Cody versus Roman. But Sammy's so hot right now. You can't, like, put Sammy in the background. You got to put him in the, in, the t- in the picture with Roman somehow. Mm. But people t- people said that though. So Elimination Chamber is in Sammy's hometown, mm. Montreal. So they gotta find a way to you know play that up. I I just think, bro, it's it's when I get emotionally involved, I know it's something. Dude, there is nobody. I I mean, there's nobody better than Owens. Yeah, nobody. He's so good in terms of matches and like playing the role. Yes, he is the number one wrestler. Like to me, yeah, really, he really KL's is. Number one. Oh, he's think, really good. I yeah. think in terms of like box, like if he's in a match, it's gonna be a good match, mm-hmm. and he plays his character. He knows how to sell it. He really, I there's very few people that I believe they're like that. Yeah, you know I've met Roman Reigns. Yeah, so I know he, he's not an asshole. Yeah, I mean I know <laughs> he's, he's not. not. <laughs> Uh, you know, but like he's Kevin really good at Owens family. really strike me. You know what I mean? Like he's always like he just goes. He commits to that in a way the other guys don't. That's yeah. what I've always loved about Bray. Yeah. There is this commitment to character that is so realistic that it feels like my youth. Don't, right. go, don't go watch Bray Wyatt post post match press conference. I don't yeah, like yeah, I, no did. Way, yeah. I watch no, it. No, don't watch him talking. Don't, to. don't watch him talking. Watch normal but 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 somebody like Owens, there's a commitment to character that is so s- severe. Yeah, that it's like I, I really like I really start to you know I yeah. you know there's like that third re- you really start to believe that that's. How he really feels about he, something. Yeah, you know oh, yeah. Like, he's so good at acting. And he sells, too, because that, yeah, that little stair spot they did, I cringed twice, bro. Because I was like, how the hell do you do that and not hit the back of your head? Yes. When he, when he grabbed his head and just threw it back, I was like, the yo. The other thing is, it's not easy just to be, you know, hit like that many times with a chair and everything and then cuffed up and kicked like that <laughs> or whatever else. Out of here. And him looking, like, he really looks... <laughs> Yeah, bro. When up. he got speared through the 
outside the ring, oh, like the railing. I was like, oh, he no was way done. that doesn't yeah, dude, I think for you, somebody who doesn't watch it, what, and when you saw when you saw the, the whole situation at the end, what did you think? Because I watched the Bloodline stuff. That's what I weekend. thought. You thought it was just amazing. I, Kevin, no. Kevin did a good job. Uh, no, no. I thought that I thought that it played out the way I thought it would play out. No, I was watching. Like I, I watch enough to know. Like you remember the one that you were at? That's when that all went sideways in the first time. The SmackDown here. Sammy thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I had to I mean, look, it was extremely predictable that Sammy was going to end up feeling bad for Kevin. Yes. Like you just knew that that that, that was the whole thing, the test and whatever else. Yeah. Um and then I kind of felt like that was what's going to take place um, where he sides with him. The J thing I did not see coming. That was and that's what really took it over because yeah. J not wanting any part of that and kind of like feeling bad. Mm-hmm. It's when the other guy's having his loyalty questioned, I, I left it thinking it's going to be Kevin and Sammy and Jay. And that against them three. Yeah, against, against the other three. Yes. Uh, other, other then they and yeah, That's and the it. whole bloodline thing, or because the loyalty now for the tribal chief, <laughs> dude. Paul Heyman is so good, he dude. Is. Paul Heyman about yelling, good, bro. He is. Paul smart. Heyman is goaded in the middle of the match when he's yelling, "Worship your tribal chief! Look at you. We love you, your I, tribal I, chief! I worship you, my tribal <laughs> chief! I love you, my, tri- you, my tribal chief! I love the fact that too for for the wrestling fans out there that, that they did the term the same way they did the shield turn." You know when he got turned on with the shield? Yeah. They did it the same way where he gets hit in the back with the chair. Yeah. So Triple H tried to tie everything in of like, this is not the first time you've been turned on when you turn your back on your brothers and they crack it. I'm like, yo, this is the theater of it. I'm like, man. It's I'm good. Invest- I'm invested, no, I was, man. Uh, Dar- I'm going to Dar- watch Raw tonight. Darren Ravel this. The 2023 Royal Rumble grabbed a $7.7 million gate, crushing the previous all-time record by more than 50%. The event also beat its previous viewership record by 52%. Wow. That's crazy. So I think a lot of people did like it, that watched it. They it was, it was they, a good ride, they, loved what, they liked what they were seeing, and they kept watching. I yeah. loved it. So I yeah. thought it was great. Shout and it was to long, too, and I watched was, the whole thing. It was a, like a three-and-a-half, four-hour show. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Shout out to the And you said House Party stinks. Yeah, I got one more review for you real quick, though. Uh, did you see the new Seth Rogen movie that's out? No. You People? No, the, with Eddie Murphy? Eddie Murphy. It's on Netflix. Me and my girlfriend watched it last night. Funny? It is decently funny. It plays on like interracial relationships, dude. The so. the clip I saw of him trying to <laughs> say the lyrics yeah. to ends in Paris. <laughs> My pals in Paris. <laughs> That's the funny. It's some funny parts in this. So like Ed, he plays like the Eddie Murphy plays like the stern dad. So like it's about interla- it's Jonah Hill, right? Jonah Hill. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Seth Rogen. My bad. It's, they look alike. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they look alike. So they do like the interracial relationship thing. And Eddie Murphy plays the stern black Muslim dad to like Jonah yeah. Hill dating his daughter. Yes. Oh, it's so good. You he's like a, it? He, he's like talking about like Louis Farrakhan. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, Farrakhan's my homie. And he's like, what do you know about Farrakhan? And like, it's, dude, it's worth watching. Me and my girlfriend really enjoyed it. Like, okay. we, we usually we don't enjoy like movies with Turn It Off, but we, we enjoy it. It's funny. That. It's funny. All right. For sure. Not, it's, it's, What's it on? Uh, Netflix. Netflix. It okay. just came out this weekend. Okay, cool. House Party do not recommend. I do recommend you people. Number seven. NFL coaching news. Uh, looks like your defensive coordinator, D'Amico Ryans, is going to go to the Texans. Yep. Is the word. Uh, and the Cowboys changed uh, – Offensive coordinators to we don't know who yet, but they're saying Mike McCarthy might call the plays, which everybody's like making fun of, and I'm like, what does it matter? Like, yeah, I mean, right. I, 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 you know, some of my buddies that are Cowboys fans are texting me yesterday, like, what do you think about this? And I'm like, I couldn't care less. Like, I don't care what play you call. How about call the play where Dak doesn't throw an interception? Yeah. How about that one? I mean, it wasn't <laughs> Kellen Moore. Like, I don't know. He didn't. He's it, one of the to Chargers. Me, to me, it wasn't like he was. Some kind of amazing, brilliant offensive mind. Like I don't, I don't care. Um, oh, look who it is! Holy! Oh, what mackerel. are you doing up here? What? Oh my! Three minutes. We got as much time as we want. Look at this dude! Look at this dude! What up? Look at look how tall! Look, he's so tall. He can't even. <laughs> There he is, Mr. Hey, 
Mr. Blocks himself. What, what up? Right? What are you doing? What's going on? No. I just came here to, uh, I don't know. It would clear your name. Oh, that's what you I'm doing. You beat the case, though. <laughs> you said already that like you beat the case. Yeah, I, I don't have to clear anything, right? What? It's all good. Where were you when the tweet started going viral? Uh. And did you click on the Reddit thread and read it? No, I still haven't. I, I didn't even know it was that. I you didn't? Of, mm-mm. Oh, I would. I I'm, pretty would 100%. Ill, I'm pretty ill-informed on it. <laughs> who t- <laughs> I was sleeping. Who told you? Uh, No one really. It was just like I was sleeping because we got in really late. And I think the stuff happened around like 10 a.m. And then I was still asleep till like 1130. So I was getting a bunch of texts like from my friends talking about like, like, you know, like, don't don't listen to whatever or like something like that. Like, I go, I, it was like, I always got your back, bro. And I thought it was like regular, oh, I always got your back. And I'm like, yeah, my friends are real nice today. Like, what's going on? And then I'm like, oh, oh, oh. And I'm like, oh, well. I was confused. I was busy, though. I, I was, I didn't have enough time. I thought it was just regular, like, people saying stuff. Like, that happens all the time. Typical. Oh, it yeah, was, I didn't really It like, was not typical. No, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> They said that the home Dang. scorekeeper was doctoring yeah. your stat. <laughs> Why? What, how would Jaron Jackson himself explain the home road splits? You do have a lot more blocks at home. Do I really? Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. It's like a crazy number. It's like really different. It's like a crazy number. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> if you live at home. Maybe you get more sleep at home. Uh, My bed's nice at home. Yeah. Your house is here. The team is twenty or one and three at we home. Have, we have the we best home record in the league. We don't, we don't lose. <laughs> oh, that, oh. That, 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 is that the? Is that yeah, the, there's the there it is. There's the split. Um, 4.2, okay. 2.2. 4.2, 2.2. 4.2 is ridiculous. Wow. All right. Yeah, definitely. It definitely. It seems to look like that. So, <laughs> whatever it looks like, I'm just going for it. <laughs> It's so cr- random, man. I thought I thought that y'all had a hard uh, stop at 145. No. So I just kind of like. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, we can be up here until like 5 o'clock if we want to. Yeah, now now it's the Jaron Jackson show. Do you have anything to get off your chest? <laughs> mm. We were just doing what we watched over the weekend. So now we got to know, right? When you're on, you guys were just on this long road trip and whatever else. You got downtime and you got to watch stuff. Mm. What did you watch? Non-sports. Non-sports. Uh, better Call Saul. Oh, you're going through that. Yeah, I'm, I'm at like season six. Had you already watched it prior to or no? Uh, what Breaking Bad or like? Yeah, yeah, I watched Breaking Bad and it's, then. And so now you picked up Better Call Saul. Saul. Yeah. Which do you think is the better series? Mm. Breaking Bad is more violent. It's just like a lot more, like violence. Saul is like all mental. It's like lawyer stuff, and that's why I, I like lawyer. I like that kind of stuff. You like that stuff? Yeah, like my mom a lawyer, and I thought I was gonna be a lawyer. You did? Yeah, if I didn't hoop. For you sure. mean until you became six <laughs> six nine or whatever? Nah, even then, like, still, just it just didn't go like that. Yeah, be the first six ten lawyer, bro. Did you do it? Did yeah, I'd be good. <laughs> <That'd> be crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'd be nice. You went back to Michigan State too, right? What? Like, like you go back in the summers mm-hmm. to do the degree work. I, I I still do it like online. What is that for? What 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 do you want the degree to be in? Uh, communication. Communication. Oh, he wants oh. to be a pod. You want to be a pod star? You're already a pod star. I'm not a pod star. Medium. I'm not a st- I, I did. A, I had a stint. You had a stint. Yeah. He's we gonna be a medium member. We had a we had a stint. Yeah. We had a stint. We had a stint. We still kind of do it. It was just like you know, I was just I have phases. I have phases. I might go back. You might go back to the pod game. Yeah, running a podcast was way more different <laughs> than I, than I than like being on one. Like I can just he come thought in, we could just come, come in and here. talk. I mean, we can, but like. Like, you got to have some sort of order, like something. Because I'll be out here like, it was turning into, we were talking about whatever. Life talk, mm-hmm. relationship talk. Like, it turned into wild stuff. But it was like, like girls would call in. Uh-oh. And they would just, like, talk about how much they hate guys. <laughs> they like, they want to tell, the they po- they, they tell him how much they, they hate guys. Me. That's not the podcast you wanted to run? Bro, it was, about, it was about sports. It was about sports and, like, uh, culture. And then just no like music, and then it was like it was always an hour <laughs> in when everyone just gets like you know, it just I don't know, it's like Adult Swim, it's like adult. The hour's over, like everybody who's not supposed to be here leaves, and now it becomes the real show. We just need uh, yeah, you just need some structure. That's well, it, we we right? tried structure. We were like have and a plan. We have a plan. Like we were no, like it worked. We make a plan. We make a plan, but like it didn't really like. 
The plan. It worked a little bit. Yeah, if, if the plan went off the rails, there was no getting it back. There was no getting it back. I understand. I had the little notes thing up, like on the computer. Yeah, sound, kinda, sound effects, and everything. No, that was the that was the best part. Like I had a soundboard. I had like. So you I are was, gonna I, get back into this? I had a sound. I mean, I just had the equipment. I wanted to sound good if I was gonna test it. So. Yep. I had the soundboard. Like if people started talking and like it wasn't it wasn't good, I play the crickets or the or the yeah. boo or the uh, Ooh, or like it, when they start nice when someone's trying to say something and they taking themselves too serious, I'll play like the it's not like the Law and Order theme, but it's something like that. <laughs> like it's something real like sinister. Do you have a uh, um, right now? Are you doing schoolwork? Do you do it during not, the season not, also? I do, but not like right now, not right now. But during the season, you will yeah. still do online classes here and there sporadically? Uh, I had no idea that that was true. Yeah. I thought you waited until the summer. No. I probably do it less than. Oh, really? Yeah. So during good. the season, like even when you're mm, downtime, that's what you'll use? Yeah, like do one. I'll do like one. Class? Yeah. To get the three or four hours of credit or yeah, whatever? Like you do one. I used to do a lot more. Like I, when, I was, when I was hurt, I did them. Like I did like two or three. Gotcha. In a semester, and then well, keep you busy too, right? Yeah, I've taken about a year off though, like couple, around that. Like I haven't been doing it, but I'm like 85 percent there. Oh wow! Yeah, like under under everybody knows. 85. I'm just trying. I wasn't trying to tell nobody, but I was trying to just you know take the little picture with the cap and gown on. You just told us. Yeah, I know. You looked at me like it's my fault. You, you just told yeah. us. I wouldn't have known you. I, you guys were up here if it wasn't for. for <laughs> if it wasn't so. for Devin Dixon. Don't blame me. Like I never, I never make this show ever. I, I never. I don't even think I've been in here. You have to. You were here your rookie year. You were here. Were you here the day after you got yeah, drafted? Yeah, but like, I was here like scheduled. Yeah. Oh, like, we just, we like, just, popped we just, just walked in here. Yeah. Like look, you Today's can see the day. Dez working out from here. Yeah, you can see. <laughs> this is we crazy. Can see, we can see everybody working yeah. out. Yeah. You always been able to just we can see, yes. see basketball from here. Yes. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> yes, we can see. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they put down the curtain. They, yeah. 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 During dra- draft oh, yeah. yeah. work, oh, they won't let it see. Yeah. 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 But if you, ever want to, if you want to start a podcast, look, we got a whole studio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a whole nother studio. Oh, we do, we do have to ask you about the big uptick in field goal attempts yesterday and more importantly, the minutes. Yo, Uptick. you and Ja never play those kind of minutes. It's 40, was it 41 number? and 38. Yeah, I saw him a little bit ago. He was tired a little bit. <laughs> you said two minutes in the second half. Yeah. When is the last time you played all but two minutes of a second half? Like bubble? Maybe bubble. Uh, bubble? I mean, you tell me, man. I, I didn't. Let me see. Let me see. I don't know. You realize that yesterday was extreme as compared to what you usually play. Probably a little bit. Probably, you know, you. You average like you 20, 20 something, at, and this was 30, 38. Eight, yeah. 38 minutes. And 19 field goal attempts. 19 field goal attempts. Oh, well, last wow. time you played 38 was in Golden State last year. You played 38 minutes in the playoffs. 38 minutes? Yeah. That's the last time? That's last time you played playoffs 38. Last last year. Year. Feel fine today? Playoffs last year. Yeah, no, I was straight. Built for 38. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Built, for 38, man. Built for 38 minutes? Yeah. It was a great game, too, right? Did mm-hmm. you feel like you had it? you feel like yesterday was any different than any other day? Mm-hmm. This was clearly one of your best games of the season. I mean, we just wanted to stop the bleeding of what, what had been happening. So, boot up, you know, boot up and put your mind to it. So look, There's it, a lot of games though. I don't my memory is good, but not it's like not good during the year cuz I'm like I'm not even thinking about like I don't even think about any of anything. I just you know. I know I know everybody always says like next man up with all this stuff and you guys have been amazing at just being able to plug and play. The Stevo thing is a different world though cuz you've never For been sure. used to not being out day. there with him, right? Like he is just he has been a constant. We've mm. never lost him for an extended amount of time. And it puts a lot more pressure on you, too, especially with the rim protection thing, right? right? I tell him, like, every day. Like, I'm like, bro. <laughs> this is messed up. I'll be like, you owe me. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> I'll be like, bro. I don't know. It's hectic. I'm, I'll be like, bro, you do so much. Because I, can, makes I you... can feel what you do while I'm out there. Like, I can feel the, the difference. Because they got to worry about him. So, you know, he's... They got to box him out with, like, five guys or four guys. and Where do you miss leaves. him the most on both ends? I mean, he's setting the greatest screens in NBA history. 
So he's getting everybody open always, which gets everybody else open. Like once, because he's getting a guard open, so then the help comes off my dude. Mm -hmm. So I'm open. And then I get offensive rebounds because they have to worry about him. And then if I don't, he do, because he going to get them. And he rebound everything. So it's like even when we miss, he getting us three, four, five possessions in a quarter. That changes the whole game. Like that can stop any run. Like that can and and they're concerned. And now he's doing and now he's scoring. So now it's like, oh my God. Like you can just I don't know what you can't what can't you do. I would have to check again. I need to go check this, but somebody I I, I read the other day that he every and I have not checked it, so forgive me if this is wrong. But I read that every team he has been on in like the last whatever, ten years. Every team he has been on has led the league in offensive rebounding. I think, that be, I, think I saw that too. I Isn't that, that on his little Twitter account? I think it the, is. I think that maybe like a Steve-O, oh, the Stephen Adams Steve-O fans. Account. Yeah. Is that true? I think that is That's true. like the only thing I follow like religiously. Then that is, bro. If that is so, that uh-huh. is so obviously a correlation between, right? Like, how can you single-handedly? He's the greatest man. How can you single-handedly? Will any team that you've been on, because he's been on a million different rosters too, because there were different incarnations of the Oklahoma City thing. As long as you guys do. And he was on New Orleans for the year, Mm. right? And then he came to Memphis. He would downplay it so hard too, like if you asked him. (laughs) The what his response, I'm just thinking of like what he would say. Like he would be like, "Uh, mate, it's just Try to get the ball, mate. Yeah, a little bit of work. Just basketball, mate. Yeah. Just figuring it out. And the crazy thing is, and you ask him like about the the science of it, mm. and he blows that off too. Mm. And yet, if you ever go out when you guys are like warming up, uh, you, he's standing him. under the goal watching the angles. Yeah, watching how the misses come. I see him. You can clearly tell what he's doing. Yeah, he's locked in. And you can tell he's looking where the ball goes off mm. the rim, yeah. depending upon who shoots it. That's a, that's, Dennis, he'll, that's he'll, Dennis Rodman stuff. That's he will never, he will never tell do. you that's what he's doing. But though. he will tell you that that's you. not what he's doing. <laughs> he will tell you just there under the goal, looking at the rim. For sure. I mean, everybody, everybody on our team downplays everything. Like, we're just wow. We, we, we at least with each other. About each, well, uh, individually. Least, yeah, with yes. each other because we don't. But not as a team. Not as a team. No, you guys, are, you guys are. You guys are. Do I know? I mean, come on. <laughs> Come on. You guys are yeah, first. Yo, I funny. love it. You're we're my really, team, so I love it, but everybody hates you. To be honest. You guys know this. To be honest, we're really not. Everybody, you we're know really you're feeling it now. No. Stop it. What do you mean feeling it? You're I'm, not feeling it when you guys go on the road and you guys oh, are I mean, playing against teams like, or on social we get, media. Yeah, we get booed like a college team. Yes. Sure. That's but what like, I'm saying. You're feeling like college it. Team. We get I mean, it ain't no... And you see everybody getting mad against you in ways that they don't against other teams. <laughs> Andrew Nimhard? I can't, I can't compare. What is it? I, don't what know. Is it? I don't know what other teams go through, though. I don't know. I watch a lot of games. I don't know. I don't see players he, getting mad like they do he against you. You don't pay attention to the locked in all the time. Yeah. It's not pay attention to nothing. You were, hey, you were in the middle of <laughs> people, that yesterday. People be acting like we don't get, like, Man, what's <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, people like, don't talk to you? Yeah, I'm like, yo, well, not even that. Like, you get asked a question and you give an answer. That's really it. And then how you want to pick apart the answer is on everybody. Like, no, I, people try to, you know. Look, ev- we talk the media about media gotta hey. get paid. Like, media gotta get jobs. Like, they gotta, they gotta. Like, what's the point of putting out that I said like I like to go eat out? No one's clicking on that. <laughs> no one cares what you like to eat. No one cares no one about cares. that. Like I can do I kinda, a whole. I kinda, I kinda I'll do, care like, I'll do like ten press conferences, and out of the ten, one of them, one one thing I say, and one of them gets picked up because I know I'm not saying that interesting. Last night I beat the case. Got picked That's up everywhere. Cool. There's oh. like a meme. The There's a meme of Jared Jackson <laughs> blocking a shot, and it says, I beat the case. Oh, that, whole thing, that whole thing is so strange. I thing beat is so, the case. That whole thing is so strange. I thought, about, got- I thought about doing something else with, with the – because I knew, I knew when I was walking, because we had people telling us, like, hey, they're going to ask you this, whatever. I'll be like, all right. And then on my way in there, I was like, man, I thought about just saying, like, instead of that – like just not even answering it and saying something about like how 
Jake is coming a long way, and D Rod is coming a long way, and X is coming a long way, and KC is coming a long way. I just started talking about how, you know, everybody's just stepping into their roles and blowing it off completely. But I don't know. How, I half thought it was funny. I like the. I, you haven't seen the I beat the case meme? Bruh. I mean, oh, he sent me one. He sent yeah. me some things, and then Dude, I was Dude, I like, beat the case is funny. That's a good line. It's so only been like up. 10 hours. It, t- it took two hours for you to beat the case, though. Like it took, it took two, two hours. Somebody posted it. It took two hours for the case to be beat. And that's a record. I will say, for your benefit, every media member went back and watched all 66 home blocks. So now they oh, see. Wow, dope. Now they're like, oh, wow, they all this guy's you. an amazing rip protector. Yeah, they all were defending you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you said all the time. You said all the time. We've been, doing, the, we've been doing this stuff all the time. Like, you talk about it. Like, we, we've been doing this stuff for years. Like, you've been mm. blocking shot for years. But the fact that now we're on the platform, like, number mm-hmm. two seed, people are watching us now. Like, they're like, mm. oh, shit. Like, oh, yeah. Jaren's a good shot blocker. They've been doing mm. this shit for four years. Yeah. Like, now people got to see it. That's what I'm saying. But, like, we've been doing this for a minute. So it's like, I don't know. I've been in the league for a minute. I'm not as tapped. Like, it's like I, me being tapped in is almost like, I don't know. I feel like I'm on the side of being less tapped in. Like, I'm more like. Like I'll be thinking about my family or something. Like I'm just oh, like, like, what a vet! <laughs> no, nah, really, really, bro. You're vet mode now. I'm telling like, you, you know, like I'm living through everybody else. Like I'm living through like people getting drafted. Like my friends, like now and um, like just seeing them get excited and so crazy as like you grow that. up though. I mean, cause you you know you come here when you're I mean you're what 18? You're 18. No, I turned. 19? What I turn here? I turned 19 here. Yeah, so you came here when you're 18 years old. And even in just the time that you've been here, how much less you care about what people say or are saying or typing or whatever else than you probably did 40 years ago. Yeah. Just Four years world. ago, it was all positive. Because we, we, <laughs> <laughs> we were young and everything was cool. <laughs> even when we weren't winning, like, it was, it was all good, like. It was all good, and then uh, you know, obviously that changes. But now that I now that I know it's normal, I'm cool with it. I think before you, if you if you don't know it's normal, you're like, what the hell? Well, and the fact that you're going to be a media member. Oh yeah, yeah. I know how this works too. You're getting a communications degree. <laughs> oh yeah, new right? Media. New media. Yeah. New, the, yeah, new media. So I, oh, then we got to ask him about non-sports because look, fashion. Yeah. We love Drip. the fa- we. Bro, lo- he showed bro. us some of the stuff. We the like Drip. it. We liked like it. it. Oh, yeah, I did. We liked I it. Love, I love the double love barrel it, hood. Yes. Double love the, bro, I wish I had, like, something on today. Like, I didn't know yeah. I was coming here. Like, did, I didn't know So I was, where can I get this? In my hair? Where can oh. I get it? Uh, It's in my grand bio, but you got to go to – you can go to Manu Kia. Go, go right here. Let me get your laptop. Where's the where's the where's the store, though? Ma- if Manu I'm going to drive to the store. If you're going to drive to the store. It's um, superior, right? This yeah, it's a spear. I got to try it on, right? Well, they said it's at, uh, a lot of stores. I don't know all the... Like, Laurelwood, the Joseph's... I don't know all of them. Oh, it's Joseph, sold Joseph's at Laurelwood. Yeah, yeah Laurelwood it's sold everywhere, though, so I don't know. It's sold out? No, it's sold everywhere. Oh, oh, oh. Steve-O bought it all the first day. <laughs> <laughs> Can you buy it online? You can't buy it online. You have yeah. an online right. store. It's right there. Yeah. What store is that? That's on the Monarchia website. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, the, it's on his and Instagram. Then I'm the tab in the, to the left. It says, it says his name yeah, on the tab. In the grand bio. Oh, there's a keep lot more down. stuff there than what keep, I saw. Yeah, keep going. Oh, keep low, going. Low, low, low more. more. Low more. Yeah, there's low a more. lot more stuff than what I saw. Yeah, there's there a lot. Keep going. Oh, okay. You got socks. You got mask. Oh. Short. I forgot about I don't know if I can pull that one off. You can't pull the neon off? Yeah, you can. Maybe. You just got to believe in a face mask. You got to believe it. You got to have the mask. The yeah. face mask. Ski mask, man. You got to have the ski mask. We did it. That was dope, man. That's a what What website? Mauna Kea. Mauna Kea. Yeah, I love the double hoodie. Is, man, this is fun. This is a cozy place, man. <laughs> now, are these like, how are they made? Are they Supposed made to be like four NBA, NBA players? <laughs> yeah. Now you got to come up here and hang out with us more often. No, nah, I came up here. Jenna showed me where y'all was at, man. I was like, this is cozy. It's cozy. Yeah, it's dope. And we just sold you probably all kinds of merchandise. Yeah, people are going to start with People are going to see it. Now show. they see it, they're going to buy it. It's, they're it's, gonna, you don't wear that often, though, because like, a lot of other guys wear it. Like, BC was wearing it last BC night. BC wore it last night. We have other guys like wearing it. DG has worn it. Yeah. Um, we got to get, get, get Steve-O to wear one, one again. No, he's going to wear it at some point. I mean, bro, listen, bro. A lot of people wearing it. I ain't even. You don't. I ain't you even, don't? Huh? I do. I don't wear it all the time. Not often. Not all the time. I wear it pretty often. I, I wear it when sometimes when you don't see me. Yeah. You know, 
But it's been a while for me. Like y'all just seen it. Y'all what? Y'all just seen you it. You gotta make me feel like a loser. <laughs> Why? I mean, y'all just I mean, seen it. I, mean, I go home. You gotta make me feel like a loser. <laughs> I, work I see it when you don't see me. <laughs> loser. <laughs> Like, what I'm, I'm doing, what I'm, I'm doing, what I'm home. doing, hood rat shit with my friends. <laughs> I might go. I'm going to go home and take a shower and put it on. Put some mic key on. Just when you chill t- on the couch. Now when you see me nerd. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good, man. I'm going to go get some. We got to get it, though. I'm get some monokia. Man. Yes. Monokia. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, man. I'm glad you're well. And, I, hey, you guys needed that win yesterday. For sure. We couldn't be talking no more about no more losses. It was that we <laughs> were tried, done with that. They tried to blame me, bro. We didn't like it. We came For back what? and they were trying that, to blame we call him Roy, We call him road poison. <laughs> <laughs> every time he goes on the road. Bro. Every time he goes on the road, y'all lose. Bro. They're it's trying, unbelievable. They're trying, blame, they're trying to blame me, bro. Road poison. I grabbed one yesterday. <laughs> they call him road poison. God, that was we on, put him that on, was the, on the road for real. Like I remember when he, he was, I remember when he wasn't on the road. And you guys always won? <laughs> You're freaking 11 and 15 on the road. <laughs> He's been in all 15. <laughs> this man's been in all 15 losses. Ain't nobody out of the wind. <laughs> man goes, uh, yo, he comes back from freaking Christmas. Golden State got five players. He comes back from Christmas. Like, I don't know nothing to do with this. <laughs> Look, I try to remind him, bro. I was there for the playoff win. That's what that. <laughs> When we won the playoffs, I was there for it. Road poison. Oh, my God. That's him. Every Yo, time he gets so on the plane. <laughs> bro. Can you believe it? We come back home, we got to win. Hey, I got scared at halftime last night. I got to be honest. And uh, honestly, I was fine. Actually, I take it back. When you guys cut it to 12 going into half, I was like, all right, they're fine. <laughs> you guys came out of halftime. <laughs> hey. Yo. Yo. You came out You're of halftime. You were really just watching the game like. <laughs> yes. 12. So then, look, second half you come out, defend for 20 seconds, they whip it up to Turner, you run out to the front, he hits that three from the top, and I'm like, okay, this is not, like, this is, this ain't ain't our time. What is going on? Seriously. Man, dudes want to, dudes want to play against us. They do? Yeah. It's not just a regular game, we're not catching nobody off guard. It was good, though. That was good to get that back. And now, hey, we do. Uh, Danny Green's back. DG. What? Y'all see, this is when you need the sound effects. Yeah, this is when you need the air horn. Bro, this is sir. when you need the yeah, horn. I think he does. Yeah, we got to get up there. We got to get up there. But it needs to be right here. Yeah. There it is. Danny Green. There you go. There we go. We got a That's hard. That's hard. Danny Green. DG's back, man. You seen you you seen him play? Like I mean. Obviously, you guys have been running around. Mm-hmm, I've seen him. See, he look like. you seen him too, clearly. Nah. <laughs> we just seen look, him warm right, up before. Look, it's 12. We just, <laughs> seen him, right we just seen him run before the games, uh, yeah. you know, making shots before the games. But we have not seen him, like, running around in, like, a team setting. What's he like? He's watching Josh shoot right now. He is. Yeah, and there's Zaire. <laughs> People would pay a lot of money for this view. Dude, he's almost as tall as you now. See? He like, yeah. He gonna be great. Forever. He's doing the growing thing like you did, mm-hmm. where it's like get drafted, but then all of a sudden next time we see him, I, like there was a time you were doing. You know, the, remember when I was drafted? I was like two fifty. So I'm saying swole. Yeah. So I'm I saying. Was, yeah. I was no. so. I was Boy. like Steven Adams Boy. on draft night. <laughs> <laughs> on draft night, they were saying Boy. that that I got a slim down. Nobody you don't said remember that. that. No. No, you remember no, that? No, I thought I thought you. Bruh. I thought that I the, was like 250. No. <laughs> 250. And they said I was like no. one of my greatest things coming into the no. team was that like I could move people. Like I was a force. <laughs> no one said that. They didn't say that. that. No. They, <laughs> they didn't say you know what? You know what? You know what they say? They said he's having trouble holding that Mountain Dew can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think if they he's said gonna that, be bro. our sponsor, I don't think we they have, said that. His, his arm was flexed to the max, holding that I Mountain came Dew. Here, I came here. They put me on a diet. I slimmed, no, I slimmed down. <laughs> I went from like two fifty to like oh, two fifteen. Oh my god! I posted a video yesterday of like y'all's first media day. I will never forget. You were oh, twelve when y'all oh did the, the chip thing, and I'm like, oh, yes. Bro. 
Time is flying. Flying. Yeah, for real. Like, everything is flying. I know. Mm. See how young they look like in that yeah, video? That's the video look I posted, at this. Like, I posted a video yesterday. I was like, wow. bro, they look so different now. Oh, wow. look how swole you are. <laughs> look at that. My God, Jared. Look, and there's the diet. Jeez. Look at that. <laughs> the gyms. <laughs> look, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look, man, is that Arnold Schwarzenegger or Jaron Jackson Jr.? <laughs> no, I was crazy, bro. Jeez. Yeah, that's, that's, those are the times, bro. Look how short Josh's hair is. For real. Yeah, now we're sense. grown. Grown. You got your hair's long, his hair's long. Mm -hmm. Y'all filled out. <laughs> that's crazy. Ketchup chips. Yeah. That's what they were eating. Yeah, nasty ketchup chips. That's a wrap. I didn't like them either. Have you seen House Party, bro? Yeah. What do you think? Be honest. Oh, the new one? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Okay. I think you're talking about Devin told house us it, party, house party. Devin told us it's terrible. X told me, I feel like I might know somebody in the movie, so I don't want to hate on it. <laughs> I, feel like I'm not <laughs> I feel like I'm not locked in, and I know and I know a friend, and somebody's in it, and I'm going to say, but I haven't seen it. But I've heard what some people I, have said about it, too. I saw it but I'm not going to say that either. I saw it in San Fran, bro. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> if it means nobody he knows liked it. it. No, it yeah. Have Fran, you bro. met anyone that told you, you got to see it? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody go see it. Everybody go watch it. I'm about to go, you can't even say it. He's worried. He's worried. I'm about to go watch it. Right? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, Don't watch bro. it. Oh, it's nap bro. time anyway. You might as well. Yeah, I'm supposed to ice tonight, bro. Go, mm. make, go take a nap. Yep. Hey, really? I was, uh, when the stuff happened two days ago, mm -hmm. right? two days ago, I woke up and I went upstairs to the studio. And I was in the studio. I had, uh, my boy got there at like 10. And I don't wake up till like 1130. Oh, so he's just know. upstairs making beats, whatever. He was recording with one of my other friends. And then. I went up there and I was like, hmm? And I was like, but I'm like, I gotta record. Like we gotta, we gotta, there was a time I wanted to record. So I was like, well, I'm gonna just put this to the side and I had to put my phone on DND or whatever. And then that's really what I was doing. Everyone wants when, to know what he was doing when he found out he was recording. Yeah, music. like, was recording music. I was recording. I, I want, I'm gonna ask, uh, who's, the, other than you, bro, because I know you make music. Other mm -hmm. than you, who's the best in the booth? I know BC raps, I know Lofton raps. Mm. Who is the best? Wait. Yeah. You know who raps? Lofton. No, who did you say before that? <laughs> BC. No way. <laughs> no way. Hey, look, man. BC. Look, man. That's, for, that's his story to tell. Let's stay down some dope tracks. <laughs> that's, 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 not what he, that's not what he says. <laughs> My name is Brandon. <laughs> who, I'm here to else? say. Who else? Who else? I'm one of the highest people? leapers in the NBA. Hey, you, you, would you Word. believe? Word. Would you believe me if I told you it was hard? No. Exactly. Exactly. That's I wouldn't not, believe it. Exactly. It is. It, it is hard. Where is what's his what's his rap name? Bro, if, if BC, BC? Rap, what oh, else BC? It gotta be? What else it gotta be? Oh, Bro, no. if he raps like Nas, oh. <laughs> like, that would like blow my mind. No. Does he does he rap with a different voice than his no, own? No, Nas. He, he doesn't do like a. Bro, he's listen. He's nice. Nas. You'll hear it one day. We have songs. I, I can't me and wait. Him, me and him wait. have like ten songs together. What? Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be like uh, Drake in Twenty One. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I'm deep in it. I, I yeah, yeah, I've yeah. been doing it, but that's why it's up, that's why the studio's upstairs. Kenny I can Lofton. Walk, can I walk up there in my pajamas. Kenny Lofton, correct? Yeah, I mean, he's gifted. He's a good voice. Who up? Nobody else on the team. I mean, not everybody's just. I mean, we ain't really got time for real. I haven't. I haven't even had time. Like my. That's why. That's why. Huh. Like when you have like a little bit of time, yeah. I'll do it. But like, I bet my boy Conchar's got bars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get Jitty in the studio. I'll make him. Get him in the studio. I'll drag him. Get Jitty in the studio. Drag him by his feet. Yeah, by his feet. <laughs> Force him. Force him. Bro. Bro, give me some ad libs. <laughs> Neat. You got close. You've been in my house before. I got close. Was it? Neat. I got close. What's this other one? Gnarly. Yeah, give me oh some my. gnarly. Yeah, Neat. I don't, I don't gnarly. Know. That's crazy. I've been Sports. close, but I'm, I would never go in there. <laughs> Sports fun. Wow. I can't go in there. I, I, it's, I can't go. I can't do it. What? You the, try to get me to do it. I can't do it. Rap? Yeah, I'm not a rapper. Studio yeah. setup is nice though. It's like mm. a legit situation. I've got two rap oh, yeah, songs. It's like Real it ain't studio. no like. Yeah, it ain't. I mean, bro, 
real <laughs> studio. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really evolved. Hard. It's evolved. It's nice. It's evolved. Like it's equipment off the chain. Like equipment wise, it's up there. Like with any with anybody, any anybody, like who actually does music. Because I want it to sound good. You super invested. For sure. Because that's what it takes, right? Yeah. And then me it's and like man. tape out. Um, well, we're submitting it on this day, but we're dropping our tape on me and Fubu Banks, produced by T Trending. Yeah, I got. I mean, when is it? Off from it, February sixteenth. February sixteenth. There you go. Right after Valentine's. Around like five o'clock. <laughs> We're not even done with it. <laughs> it's right after Valentine's. That's actually it's yeah, All Star Weekend. A, I don't it's All Star Weekend. Yeah. You don't have a Valentine's? Yeah, my Valentine's is the music. Shut up, bro. Shut yeah, up. that was corny. That was bad. <laughs> Shut up. That was, horrible. <laughs> that was trash. <laughs> that was garbage. <laughs> that was pretty bad. I thought that was heat. <laughs> but that was garbage. Does he get the corn? Give him the corn. <laughs> 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 He gets the corn all the time. Bro. So now y'all got he stuff. Said, now y'all got to take care of it. He said the bad, my Valentine's right. is the music. Right. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I ain't got oh, Valentine's. No. Man. You don't. There's no missed trip right now. Man, yeah, man, man. Here we go. It's hard out there, uh, isn't it, David? He, he's trying to make us cry more. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Play man, the cry music. Just Play so, the violin. Uh, it's so hard. It's For just a penny a day. It's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can hang out with Jared. Hey, bro, this, this show is lethal, Somebody bro. Somebody beat Jared Valentine. I can find myself on here like, it's a shame. Getting that, in like, trouble? For sure. It's a shame I am who I am on this show. Why? Like, if I was just, like, not on anything, like, if my words didn't matter at all. You need just, to uh, just wait, like, three years, then you won't care anymore. I mean, he got like, like no. You're at that point. You're like I mean, made bro, mad got, in the NBA, and it doesn't matter. I have a couple deep boys by there. Nobody you know cares. Saying? You know what I'm I have saying? Have a couple deep boys next. No one will care. I mean, no. I don't think you're gonna say anything so bad. There's though. always no. gonna be some people that just yeah. they always looking to find something to complain about. That's really but, why. I or there's somebody that. Uh, Deep diving into Jared Jackson, oh steals and blocks at yeah, Homer bro. on the road. I mean, you never know. You never talk about the road. You never know. It's all home. It's all who home. is the dude who is helping me? No, I told you yesterday, <laughs> nobody. It's oh, you. It's me. He came up to me in pregame yesterday. No, he, said, I, he came up to me and said, Devin, can you find the person that's helping, helping my stats? The scorekeeper. And I said, <laughs> bro, it's you. you. Are you going like, to thank him? I said, I'll you. Him, I'll take him out to dinner. I said, it's you. <laughs> you are the scorekeeper, bro. I'm like, bro. Who I can't, you know what's funny? As I'm checking in, I'm looking back last game just like to see if someone's going to laugh with me. If Dude. I look back, like, ah, it's me. Or like, ah. Because I'm thinking, like, it's a person. So I look back. I just keep looking. At, and they keep looking at me, and they don't know what I'm thinking. So I just leave it alone. And you know what's you crazy? Yeah, me like way, I knew. The funniest thing ever is because – Jaron has ex- you expressed like last year that you would love to win Defensive Player of the Year. There's no way, right? It's a goal of yours. You would love to be recognized as that for sure, right? Mm-hmm. But you know, my boy Tony, Tony wanted that award so bad that Tony would literally go to the scorekeeper and demand that they gave him. A steal <laughs> or wow. a block. He would come over to yeah. the score. Like, that, was cool. I that was my block. I touched that. Yeah. I touched that. That was my steal. Mm. You got that right. That's pretty lit. Oh, he would do it all the time. Yes. Because he knew that they ca- it mattered. Mm-hmm. He knew it mattered. That like, There's a lot of nerds out there that are just going to look at counting stats. You said I said I wanted it last year? No, you said you wanted it. Oh, yeah. When yeah, you were on yeah, Zach yeah, Lowe's yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, right. To be recognized as... Forgot about you it. did. Yeah, I did. Sense. I did want it. So, well, man, I would have, that has not changed, right? <laughs> you course. would love to win the award. Hey, man, you know what I realized, yo? That one clip of uh, oh, when no. uh, he was talking about my contract, that was so funny. I still have Ooh. that on my phone. What contract? Are we talking about yes. your contract? You remembered it? I talked about it. <laughs> yes. You were you talking still have to, it on your phone? Yes. It was so funny, bro. Because oh. <laughs> it was oh, no. so funny. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. no. It's no. so it's good. It's not no. bad. It's not. Oh, bad. it's not. It's not bad. Oh, it's, okay. It's, it's me. Funny. He still I'm, got. He still got the clip. I got the phone. video. Oh. oh yeah. I I had it trimmed and all that. To oh exactly no. The was part. this for like one day where you could? Is it, it motivation when, it, or is no, it? No. It was just. <laughs> <laughs> what am I? 
What did I say? You, you were guys, just asking me if I wanted to be here. Do you, wait. Oh, you asked me, oh, was it, it was like day? right. It was. Oh, hold on, hold on. you were on the show. Yeah, I was on oh, the show. Thank God. It was so was it funny, media day? bro. Was it yes, media day? Yes, yes, media day. Was it the year before you got it? It was. I don't know. Maybe I don't. The summer fuck. before you got it. It was maybe this couple days before. Oh, here it is. Here it is. He found the clip. Oh no! Play here. Just hold it up to the microphone. Yeah, I'll play. Look, it was it oh was it God. was hilarious, bro. It was so funny, bro. Hold <laughs> on. Wanna play? Nah, that's gonna play. Let me get off this Wi-Fi. <laughs> Let me get off this. All right, the, the contract extension. You want to be here, right? Yeah, I'm waiting on you. Yes. To... You all right? You want to be here? <laughs> <laughs> Your pause is crazy. Look at it, bro. Look. You didn't see the facial expressions. <laughs> Look, hold on, let me put it right here. Let me put it so you can see it. Right, right. Right. The, the contract Look extension. The you want to be here, right? Yeah, I'm waiting on you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. man, like, they always give me, like, a heads up. They're like, look, okay, you're about to go out here, you know, what and what night. You're supposed to say whatever, corporate, could not corporate, whatever. And then you said it. And then I was, like, just waiting you out, basically. Just, like. Like, whatever, I was trying to see how far, what the question was fully, and then I realized I look wild right now. I'm just looking like, man, I don't want to do none of this. Like, <laughs> so you want to be here, right? Huh? Or something like that. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah. It was the same interview. I didn't want to be like, it's the same interview yes. you made fun of my shirt. Because he's wearing yeah. a Cowboys jersey. He said I look like I got out of the But it turned out to be a dope shirt. He's dope. Yeah, it was dope. Deion I, Sanders. Dude, I wasn't hip. I wasn't locked in. Unbelievable. I just, I, see, I wasn't locked in after that moment. He said you after look like moment. you put it on to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> he was on my ass. Oh, yeah, on yeah. my ass, man. That was crazy. On my ass. I, did, I didn't Unbelievable. mean it. Unbelievable. I didn't mean it. That's crazy. I threw the shirt away. I mean, this team still, sucks. I've still I mean. got you see hey, the Cowboys, shut up, man. You? The Cowboys fan. Hey, hey, hey. Slow down. The Cowboys fan. Slow down. You see the Cowboys fan. Darn. I didn't throw it away. I still wear it. It looks too good on me to throw away. Cowboys what, what were y'all talking about before I got here? We were talking about house party. House party. <laughs> no, we were talking about house party. No, we, we, so we were. Who was usually supposed to be here? KJ? Who was supposed to be here? KJ was supposed to be here. Here's what we're talking about Grizzlies weekend and Jaren controversy. <laughs> AFC title. Yo. Yeah, that was number one. See, like, that's like so funny to hey, hear. Like, yeah, because yeah, from you, yeah. Dude. AFC title game. Uh, what does that say? <laughs> I can't read it. No, Burrow had my ass because that's what Travis Kelsey said. Mm. NFC title game. Uh, Tigers won. They're now seventeen and five. They win against Tulsa and Frank Haith. Then uh, LeBron ruined his legacy. <laughs> Because they do that, they We're do that to poke that. Him, to We're poke doing him. that to mess with Devin, yeah, 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 with the yeah. whole laying on the ground. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm a LeBron. Got, I'm a LeBron. Devin fan, loves so. LeBron. He's, he's, a, he's yeah. a LeBron stand, so. So they got to poke mm. him. Yeah, yeah. he's la he's literally the only guy that's had a game changing foul called against him. <laughs> <laughs> um, NBA history. Yeah, <laughs> only one that's ever been on the wrong end of one. Yeah, let me tell you, I, and I, you know what? I don't even know. I don't even know any NBA players that have been the victim of bad calls. No. Oh. <laughs> Me neither. Casper fouling. They call a foul. Ghost Yo. fouls on you all the time. Don't worry about it. Yo. <laughs> hey. Yeah, my, is that first charge of the season yesterday? I think one, it was. One, one bump. And you laid <laughs> there, too. Bump. <laughs> 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 he he got, thought he was dead. Oh, yeah. Bump. Got it done. Yeah, Miles. You got up. <laughs> hey, use that old trick to get you, bro. I think oh we, were my still, God. we were still down, too, and Dude, I was still hyped. Everybody does it Probably against down you. Eight. The <laughs> second you turn inside the elbow, oh, yeah. somebody like runs up an inch from you and acts like they're dying <laughs> as soon as you touch them. You know that's going to happen. Oh! I liked it. So that was that one. Royal Rumble. Wrestling. Mm. Yeah, wrestling. Uh, we watched over the weekend, and then house party for Devin. And we had uh, NFL coaching is what we were doing right then. Mm. And then we had uh, Super Bowl pick. On to, yeah, we we're all Chiefs. Mm, I mean, yeah, I'm we don't Eagles. want Philly. I'm Eagles. Yeah, and you're that guy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. I mean, I don't have any. Lil Uzi ran him out, bro. You got to root for Lil Uzi. You got to root for Uzi. But do no, you have to don't root make it hey, like that? Because then I'm gonna be exact, exact. Do you have to root for Meek Mill? 
Actually, I'm not. Who's Kansas City? Tech Nine. Tech Nine. Tech Nine. Tech Nine. Uzi, man. Tech Nine. Uzi. Oh my God. Ride for Uzi, bro. Ride for Uzi. Tech Nine. I'll take Uzi. Ride for Uzi, bro. Yeah. Who? Uzi. I mean, I get it. You do the Uzi dance. You know what I'm saying? No, don't do that. I'm not gonna do it, bro. Yeah, but like, don't say it like that. Look, look at that. Look at that. Doing the Uzi dance. I'm just saying. Oh my dude, God. It. Oh no, he's look. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, rock chain. Boy, rock rock chain. Oh, oh, you know what those chains are? He mm. looks like nerdy Easy E. <laughs> rock chains. <laughs> Money rock longer. Rock, rock chains. Rock nation. Money longer. Why does he have three Money Rock Nation longer. chains? Who is 16? Lil Uzi. He's 16? Yeah, little Uzi on the back of the jersey. <laughs> he's not 16. He's six. He's no, six. no, I'm saying oh. who wore number 16? Yeah, no, 1600. 1600? 1600, man. You don't know, man. That's just that's just vert. Big vert. No, I'm not aware. All right, tonight we've got Baylor, Texas. Good college basketball game. What's Good on, Monday what's night on in the league on, tonight? Yeah, there's a million games that are on in the, in the what NBA. Day is it? It's, it's a Monday. Monday night, so it's got no, – No TV game. Oh, we'll get to see Kyrie's on tonight. Magic Sixers. Yeah, but they're sitting. Yeah, they're sitting. LeBron, LeBron but and, it matters. LeBron and Anthony Davis are sitting because every game matters. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> well, how? Look, I'm only be, I'm fair is fair, Jaren. Mm. You cannot scream, yell, moan, and say they're robbing us. And if we had these wins that we've been robbed of, we would be here in the standings. And these games matter, man. Mm. And then announce the very our two game. best players are going to sit the next game. It's like this Mi- mixtape out February yeah. 16th. <laughs> yeah, like it never happened. Me and Fubu Banks produced matter? by T Trending. Like Kings, it never happened. Kings Me T- and Fubu w- Banks produced by hey, T Trending. Like it never happened. Seven tracks. Kings T Wolves is good. Seven tracks. That is good. That's good. Yeah. Anthony Edwards has been going crazy. Yeah, he has. Crazy. Uh, Warriors Thunder. Good. That's, yeah. The Warriors have won like six games on the road. That Thunder team is way better than anybody thought they were going to be. For sure. We got Would one you? NBA TV game, the late the late night joint. Hey, I, I Hawks Blazers. I'll just be a league pass. The speaking of the, oh, G- well, Giddy, yeah. Giddy gave you Giddy gave you your Hawks flowers. Blazers, I mean, Hawks Giddy? Blazers, yeah, Josh, Josh Giddy. Giddy he's like Oklahoma he's like City. I feel like I got the guy like I got by him and you know like I, I'm in the clear and then next thing I know he just like his arm comes from some other different direction and I had no idea that he was still around me. Josh Giddy. Oh, yeah. dope. Yeah, Josh, Josh, Giddy, Josh Giddy's a player. You didn't know he's yeah. Josh Giddy. He he can dress too. He, oh, yeah, he'd be, he be putting that in on yeah. for real. He was in like my uh, I think he was in like my top five when I was talking about like who I look at like top five this year, and I said like him. Let me hear it. Oh. I need to look on league. Fits. I forgot that. Yeah, you I, made, I forgot my list. Too. You gotta way, you send made Giddy some the, of your merch. You made league fits for all star. Yeah, yeah, I know. I saw finally I league that's fits not, all star. That's not. That's not what first, it is though. It's first. It's the teams at the end. For the All Star, first, second, third. Oh, first, we gotta make sure we That's get that. That's what you were talking. That's about. what we're talking about. Last I didn't make any of those. I was hot before. last year. Who do you look at? Giddy. Who else? Giddy's cool. Shay's cool. Uh, Dylan's good. Um. Mm, Kelly yeah. Oubre is pretty cool. He was putting that stuff on. About I'm trying to think of some other people. Could you uh, Tyrese pull- Maxi. Maxi. Yeah. I've never even noticed him. Tyrese Maxi for that- sure. Could you have pulled off the Kuzma mask the other night? Oh, he's for sure. Was he's it the Kuzma? It. Was, it was the it was Kuzma, Kuzma yeah. right? Kuzma, sure. yeah, he put it on. He's doing it. The knit. Yeah. With the, with he's the, doing with it. The matching shirt. Yeah, yeah. Maxi is one that I had not. Curry's Max. Yeah. Maxi has always struck me as like a like a tech gear guy, like Ja. He's not, huh? He's got. He, like, he got it now. He putting he got, it on. Yeah, all right. Tyrese. Um. Who else, man? Josh Giddy dresses good? Josh, he, he's good. on League Fits all the time. I, I found the quote. Really? Giddy be on it. He be putting it yeah. on. He said, Jared, this was from December 7th. He said, Jared Jackson Jr. is an unbelievable shot blocker. I thought I had some shots on him, and he punched him to half court. <laughs> 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 you had five blocks that night. Oh, uh, well, that's, what, that's what it said. That's what the score sheet said. Uh, we knows? don't know. Who Might have been know? one. Yeah. Hey, do you? Uh, I want to ask you before we go. Do you, you know how like Matumbo has like the finger wag? Oh, do you yeah. ever think of like a signature thing you would do after you block a shot? Yeah. I feel like it's cooler if I don't, but I don't know. It's not. Look, cool. Some people it's like, not cooler if you don't. 
What? You're like, cooler, you, I'm just saying. I'm not. Like, if you had like a thing, like a, I don't know. What like you want me to do? I can't. I, I would have to think about that. Nah, like it's usually, hey, it's hey. usually just like after I, I, if I, if it's a lot of them. If yeah. it's like five, I'll put five up. If it's five, yeah, you usually I'll put, do that. You put, I'll put a five, five up. up. Or you do if it's five or like, <laughs> oh, I've got or like, it. I've got I'll it. like, I'll do something to signal. It, but it has to be a, over three or four. Okay. Wait, it can't be like every single. No, one. no, I've no, got no, it. Because no. that's that's what are we doing? Are you, are you taking ideas? Do you want to? <laughs> you want to? You want to? You have the floor, I guess. I mean, it's your show. No, I mean. Come on, I'm it's just kinda, here. It's kind of your show now, but are you, I mean, are you where's interested? Where's the sign with your they name? They say they've already they turned, turned it off. off. <laughs> they already turned it off. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've already turned it off. Apparently the stream went out, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2.30. They're like, they're still up there. They're still up there. Yeah. Nobody cares anymore. There it is. My, um, what I would do, and again, I can't block shots. I'm too little. But if I were you and I did block a lot of shots, what I think you should do, so he brought up like the finger wag. You know, the Mutombo yeah. thing. Obviously, that's taken, right? But what isn't taken is the finger. <laughs> <laughs> so when you block him, you go, <laughs> right? You just flip them off. You think they hate us yeah. now. <laughs> and you just, <laughs> and every time you block them, you just give them the finger. <laughs> <laughs> you forget the finger I mean, wag. You just give him the that finger. That's a rap, man. Yeah, that's a rap. That's a rap. It's, it's time to go. Time to rap. Oh, play, no, the, no, no. play the outro music. No, I can play the outro music, but play I got the music that you would play if I, we're I got out a here. question too. <laughs> what the shoes? You always, yeah, you always wore KDs. Oh. oh. I always oh. In fact, he bought me a pair Story. of KD 13 chills. I did for because, because of he you. looked up that yeah. you wore them more I than you it It's more because of, uh, it's because of my foot. Because I broke my foot this summer. Oh. Uh, because I missed the first, fit, I mean, I missed the first couple games. So you had to change? So I had to, I have to wear shoes like with a good bend on the, on this. It's like a certain type of shoe. Uh, so oh. like. I mean, you want the real answer? You yeah, want, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. well, I mean, the bend, you don't want your shoe to bend in the wrong place. Like, uh, if it bends in the middle, and a lot of shoes do, like Kyrie's KD's, like, they all bend in the middle. So your fifth met is what I broke, and that you, you want that to be supported. You don't want it to bend right there. So you wear shoes that are tougher right there, and they bend kind of at the toe box, bend a little higher up. So, so do those have to be specially made or uh, I mean they're not specially made but like that type of shoe is like has a lot more support right there like I could wear the other shoes it like I I still own them but it's like I can't play you know uh I actually still can it's just like it gives you more support so it's honestly just for it but takes uh, precedent saying, what, it takes precedent over you're protecting over, like, yourself yeah yeah like at this point I'm down like just to wear whatever protects me so. absolutely and so uh I guess my question would be is, for what you are wearing, can you go and buy that off of a shelf or somebody can't doctor? Buy mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they doctoring the shoes that you're uh, wearing now as to give you more protection? Because this was actually a thing with Bane. He, he recently yeah, spoke yeah, yeah. about right, 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 his right, right, shoes right. are actually having to be doctored. Yeah, mine are, mine are too. Yours are also. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't just go buy them and then. Yeah, me and Dez yeah. got the same. Like, me and. <laughs> Me and Dez got the same thing going on. Like, you don't want it to bend out of place. Gotcha. Just for support. Will you wear jaws? Uh, you might not honestly, be Honestly, I might to. break the rule for that. Really? Not every game, but. You you would wear I mean, bro, like, this is, like, it's crazy. Yeah, like y'all I, mean, I already got promised job think- ones, too. I said that in the meeting, like, when I was in my meeting. I was like, look. You and, know, like. And you I mean, haven't gotten them? I mean, I'm going to get them. Just imagine that they I'm gonna get them. all around Wait, the there's tunnel. little kids that have them now, and you don't have any? <laughs> little kids have them. So he swear. gives them a the perfect game. <laughs> oh, well. No, I be. Uh, no, nah, when they get them, I, I make this face. I'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, good game, 12. Good stuff. And then I'll be looking at the kids. I'll be like, man. You remember when they said that one kid, uh, remember they got the shoes taken? That happened? The shoes taken? Yeah, the like. The ball taken. Oh, the ball. ball. The shoe oh. was not taken. Well, they didn't hear about the shoes getting taken because that was me. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the kid got out of the arena. You ready? <laughs> that was as you? soon as the kid out of the arena. <laughs> that was you? I took off my drip, put, put on a, a black hoodie. He put a it black up. trip J hoodie. <laughs> and it uh, just deboed them. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, the 16 guy. Hey, hey, and his, and, and his 
He asked Kyle me. Kuzma ski mask. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 16 dude running away with some shoes. No. I got a meeting, bro. All right, right, we're out of here. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Sharon. That's going to do it for today's show. We'll be back tomorrow. What meeting do you...